got your message, but but I was already there and I couldn't really get the link. But oh, you I didn't figured. miss yeah. anything because um, the person who was who knew how to do it had COVID, <laughs> and so he passed off the the Zoom recording and and Zoom stuff to somebody who didn't know what they were doing and it apparently didn't go very well but <laughs> susan recorded it all and we will videos. let you know when the talks are available okay. it was great guys we had a great time i'm really sorry i saw That's your message but i was just so busy well and i, I didn't I, know how to yeah. retrieve the link well i figured you would have been busy but i i, I figured i'd check anyway just that was fine. I, I just I just have no idea where these links go. I mean, they just, I click on it and then they they disappear into who knows what. I, I'm not sure I can find my it's, it's Zoom, magic. Zoom, Zoom stuff either. They go to the so where, why do we have a plethora of Susans? Hmm? Well, there's there's two Susan Gerbics. Ignore the other one. Just like I the thought... Dolomit twins? <laughs> That's I what think... the other one said about you. Yeah. One's, one's not feeling well and the other one's healthy. So you know which one to talk to. Okay. <laughs> Just ignore that. Here comes Adrian. Oh my hey, God, this cat. Don't come. Can up. any of you Canadians uh, recognize the celebrity in my photo? Bobby, Bobby. It's Bobby. Yep, yep it is. Bobby. But, where? Bob, Bobby or who? <laughs> oh, Bobby or. The famous oh, Canadian Bobby. hockey player. Hey, Never. your your pictures, by the way, you you posted were really good. This uh, well, they're always really good. They've been really, really interesting. Well, at least I now know who he is. I'm like, oh, great pictures of somebody. That's nice. <laughs> like, am I supposed okay, to know this comes, person? Here comes English the Canadian person. and hockey player are superfluous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> good one. He's letter. uh the Boston the uh, Boston legend Bobby Orr, number four. Okay, you guys, be nice. We got a brand new person. No, try to cut down on the end jokes so that they feel like you're part of the group. You never did for oh, me. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. can only make Your fun of Susan. Is that what you're saying? Your brother was here. It's it's a kinder, gentler trivia to, to these days. <sighs> we're, we're getting we want to, we want people to keep coming back. Who's our new person? I am not get to where I'm comfortable here on this. It feels weird talking to you. Hey Susan. Yeah. This is my birthday suit. Well, one of them. It's you the wear one that I can for wear. every holiday you could possibly come it, up with. Yeah, that's my thing now. It's so like, it's the I'm birthday suit for, I can wear out It's in for Fourth of July. No, no, it's for lip it's the it's for everything. Day. It's for everything. It's I don't for want to wear America. It. Does he wear it for Canada wear. Day? And I can also go, you know, infiltrate Trump rallies and and, and yeah, rally, MAGA. You know. Hey, where's Jane? I just yeah. saw her join, but I don't see her icon. Yeah, don't see her. I gotta get my. Uh, I don't see her. I see Caspian's I icon. I don't see any new person here. She's trying to join. I saw. Her. I let her in. Oh, so, so let me uh, <clears throat> let me repeat for those that weren't there, which is almost everybody. The thing up in Eugene was fantastic, and I am just enormously grateful for everything that was done by everyone involved, and especially Janine. Yes, Thank you, Janine. Great. She was so awesome, you guys. She is on it. I told her she can't do all that work next time, but she didn't do it all by herself. She just did all the work, and then people came in and helped. You know, they were great, but... I want to see other people doing that. It was really a blast. We had cake. We had snacks. Hey, hey, Adrian, did you just get here? Yeah. Hello, Hello. Hello. Okay, so you, Directly. so who, who's, uh, who's, uh, who's Kevin with? Brian will know. Oh, is that um, Bobby Orr? Yes, it Why is. is Adrian, <laughs> Why is Adrian echoing? <laughs> Hey, Adrian, do you have your special effects thing on? Because you're no. weird. Um, I don't, I don't know. know. I, was I was having, having that's, that's why I was late. I was, I was having, having actually trouble, trouble getting anything to work. work. All those you, fancy you apparently have because two microphones. <laughs> Either two microphones or two speakers. 
Say something today, profound. Say, today I consider myself the luckiest <laughs> man on the face of the earth. <laughs> say, Ooh, help, help, get me out of this well. That sounded like Woody Woodpecker, though, when you laughed. I, I heard your you. comments, Leonard. I appreciate the, that you enjoyed the event. Yeah. It was it was great. Okay, she's trying to join now again. Hopefully she comes in. Uh, is that where you got COVID, Susan? No, I think I got it on the airport of the way. Because nobody else got, nobody else has had uh, reported anything. So I think that if um, I picked it up at the at at the skeptic uh, skeptic camp, I think more people would have had. It. Even though Janine was <laughs> very careful. We were wearing masks. They had filters and open windows. Very careful. You know, I, I had breakfast with Susan and Mark. Uh, the day before I left. Right. <laughs> so I don't think, so that's what I mean. I don't think I got it there because if I had, somebody would have it. I was in close contact with lots of people. Oh, no, yep. it's still in the car. How so many days was, after uh, you saw I think them? it was uh, probably at the airport. Of Seattle. How many days after you saw everyone did, did you have symptoms? I didn't want to leave it on the scene. Uh, I was in Seattle yesterday. <clears throat> Flew home yesterday. Yeah, so you uh there's the only last, one and I'll take care of it. You were in mute Eugene yourself, until only one Tuesday morning, right? I'll take care of it. Kevin, mute yourself. Monday morning. But we didn't Monday see morning. her. We didn't see her after Sunday night. Well, well except I did. for Leonard. Leonard yeah, did you had uh, breakfast. Yeah, I had, had breakfast, breakfast with her on Monday morning. Right. So if if anybody, it would have been Leonard that would have gotten it because we were sitting there and we hugged and we were eating and nobody yep. was asking close contact so i don't think we had it I yeah but you don't get it instantly it. you you yeah, get but it, it five it, days before well so three you could two get or it three. three or four you could get it three or four days from now on yeah i, I could uh, well i know i haven't seen so yeah like I, I it's been three days seems unlikely so I'm, i i i'm I had still it. testing I, and wearing a mask around john for another day I, I got my, I got COVID at New Year's Eve dinner. I'm almost sure of it. And then I got symptoms Monday Eve. So that was Friday. And Monday evening, I first started to get a little sniffles. And yep. I tested and I tested negative. And then I didn't test positive for three more days. Yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, the, the variants are different. different. Variant. Yeah. It's all, yeah, yeah, it's all, it's it's all crazy. Yeah. Well, very, I... Very, very independent. We had my youngest birthday party this weekend, and I'm, I don't know how quickly if this is, it's probably the really uh, bad variant um, because uh, my, my ex tested positive first and her boyfriend's got it and my youngest now has it. And unfortunately it was during her birthday party where she had like six kids have a sleepover. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. So, how are you doing, Wendy? I'm good. I had, I, um, I, if I had been depending on Kaiser, I never, <laughs> it, they, it, their system, they have an online, uh, like a, an app. Calm down, puppy. They have an app which usually works for me. I can I can get in touch with my doctors and do everything on it. it it's it's um it works good, but they the if you're trying to get attention for COVID, it, my experience was it wasn't working, and I was using it to try to get to their COVID thing like their special setup for COVID attention. And then also just emailing to my, my primary care physician, never heard from them. My daughter is a licensed midwife and she can write prescriptions. And um, she prescribed Paxlovid for me. I tested positive with a post office test. And, um, and she went to, she, prescribed the Paxlovid for me and went and picked it up and brought it to me. I could still be waiting for freaking Kaiser and I don't usually <laughs> criticize Kaiser. I, I picked it for my Medicare provider, but I'm, I'm fine. I, the Paxlovid. Well, you sound great. Yeah. I'm, I'm really, 
um, and um, I bounced back that yeah. I was coughing and I ha never had a fever and I felt achy and um, fatigued and I had what like a migraine and yeah. um, and so I would I was for me suffering because I usually don't feel you know I'm usually pretty pain-free and um comfortable and um the Paxlovid kicked in after 12 hours and I was yeah, like that it's supposed to be really incredible it yeah. is incredible and I, and um but then now I've heard uh, Susan said her doctor doesn't prescribe it like it it the it, she was telling me he, her doctor thinks, or I guess it's Mark's doctor, thinks it's only for people that are not vaccinated. So that's, 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 did, did he go to medical school? <laughs> no. Is he an naturopath? I've had both vaccines and both boosters. I mean, you can freaking yeah. Google I've already that's, that's argued true. with Mark till I'm blue in the face. Sent him all the information. I sent the information where to go to get a prescription in Salinas when he didn't use this doctor and where to pick one up and the test to treat links. Yeah, and I, and I just, I, but that's a doctor that's taking care of their health. Yeah, it's like they no, it's, it's uh, healthcare is uh, an incredibly variable thing. Evidently. Yeah, but I'm I mean, I'm I, I, oh, I'm glad to hear it. I mean, uh, Susan's achy. I'm achy too, but mostly because I went on a, a long bike ride yesterday. Oh. <laughs> I'm achy too because I met up with the three-legged dog a while back. Oh, well, that's all. That, that's quite a while long back. Long time back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I went on a 13-mile bike ride um, there and back to my physical therapist where I had a workout. <laughs> they had a workout in between. And was, yeah. it, was the bike ride on level? Was it was it just it's off? pretty level? Nice. Yeah, it's pretty level. There's there's a couple of hills, but nothing drastic. I'm gonna I get, get a bike. I, I've I've got a secure garage. I can I if I get a bike, I can lock it up and keep it, you know. I just I kind of forgot how. How to ride a bike. You know what they say. September, so uh, you never forget how to ride a bike. It That's comes back. Cool. I I will I I'm <laughs> I hope it does because I used to enjoy it. And I, the last time I tried to ride a bike, um, the chain was loose, and my daughter's boyfriend didn't notice that, and so Ouch. I was going to roll down the a little incline and um um pedal out into the <coughs> quiet street which i used to do all the time but um that didn't work <laughs> well and, and then i tried again and it was like i, I am all traumatized now and having ptsd bicycle ptsd <laughs> i had to kind of practice and i practiced before i went to new zealand because my girlfriend was gonna we were gonna bike ride I was glad I did. You just stay away from three-legged dogs. Yeah, just stay away from three-legged dogs, and it's fine. <laughs> I, I got and they're all called tripod. All you, uh, I got a question for all you bike riders. Uh, why don't they have pedal brakes anymore? Because um, they're better uh, not to. <laughs> How so? <laughs> well, um, because you have a derailleur and gear. It's it's really hard to 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 have a good gear system um, on a bike with uh, coaster brakes. Um, and I, I so when I when I bought my bike a couple of weeks ago, I had a choice of getting one with a derailleur or with coaster brakes, and I got the one with the derailleur because it's better. But they, they are around. You can still get it. Um, what it, about the training the wheels? Um, I don't, none of the bikes that I looked at had training wheels standard. But you can get tricycles. You can get tricycles. 
Yeah, a, a derailleur is that fancy thing on the back of the um, that goes on the back wheel that has multiple sprockets and a it's chain that switches moves you speeds, that you switches the, the the gearing. So it effectively switches speeds on the bike. You you can get a unicycle and build up from there. <laughs> yeah, um, build up in in some interesting use of the term. A starter, a starter kit. Yeah, that's the. I'm, I'm not sure that up is the right direction there. I, Most of the time, I assume no. if you have, I assume if you have pedal brakes, uh, you only have one speed. That's correct. I think that's true. Um, I've I've never seen a bike uh, with uh, pedal brakes, as you call them, uh, that had more than one speed. There, there was a, we had a bike three speeds it was it was pedal brake but it was a little <laughs> chain that came out of the out of the middle of the axle the rear right. axle so i never understood how it worked i don't know that it did work no i, I had one of those yeah you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah i, didn't, I never understood that it's a it's a complicated mechanism okay i was wondering about that it, it falls into um, a d the description of Clark's third law. Wow. What is Clark's third law? Anything, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that was, I, I, I've heard that. I didn't know there was a name for it. Oh, yeah. Go to our rooms. Oh, I see. Okay. That, yeah. Room five. Can, Can I, I test? test? Oh, it's, it's echoing, echoing still. still. Is, it Is it echoing? echoing? Rob? Can you, Can you hear, hear me? me? Rob? Can you, you hear, hear me? me? Am, Am I, I echoing? echoing? <sighs> I, thought I thought I fixed, I fixed it. it. How about, How about now? now? Still, Still echoey? Send me to my room again. I didn't have any voice for anybody, please. I didn't, I didn't get, get sent, sent to a room. room. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm all echoey, echoey so I don't, don't have a phone. Hello, can you see them? I, I can, can hear you. you. It's okay. Switch the audio. We have technical difficulties. Can um, you hear me? I can, I can hear, hear you, Suzanne. Suzanne. Okay. Could you send me back to my room? I didn't have voice. I, I don't, don't think, think I have that. that. Because I, I haven't been sent, sent to a room either. either. I don't know oh, why. why. Oh. So I don't think well because I, I don't have the little bars to be able to pick to go to a room. Yeah, because I had either. to leave the site and come back on. Also, so I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'll uh, text. I'll, I'll text uh, uh, Susan as well.
Hello. 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 Test. 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 You're just going to have an echo. That's all there is. You're just going to have an echo. You guys, you guys hear, hear me? me? Yep. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> How's that? Uh, Rob says he's not being heard. Well, yeah, it seems okay. like we're all having the Can same problem. You. Oh, Susan, yay. All right. Well, go with that. You still got to assign uh, Suzanne. Right. I was with Terry. Period. I can't do anything. It seems that multiple Robert, of us had had problems. Going? Hold on, let's see. I'm with Terry. Karen, were you given a place? Susie, can you hear me? I can hear you. I was I was with Terry. No, she didn't. Yeah, I'm in the main room. I'm looking right at her. Yeah, but she's got both voices. Yeah, I'm trying to fix something. I think that's Rob from the part of the game that's turned in. Susie, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? The iPad is actually in the main room. It never comes into the breakout. She's taking up the whole I'm answering you, but Rob's trying to get back in. <clears throat> Can you hear me, Susan? Can you hear me, Susan? Hello, Susan. Okay, Susie. All right, Rob, are you back? I'm going to be getting higher internet. You back, Rob? Yeah. My uh, ISP calls me up. Well, Rob, you know, we're having this promotion right now. And, you know, Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Am I frozen? Am I okay, frozen? where do you want to put Susie? Because I'm going to put her somewhere. Susan, it's not working. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm going to put her somewhere. All right, I'll take it. So that's $14 a month. So what speed do you get up there? I get Hello, right can you hear us? Oh, okay. Can you hear? Uh, Rob, are you there? Somebody freaking look at the chat. Oh, are. I have my volume all the way down. <laughs> can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah. If you can hear us, type in the chat because we can't hear okay, you. So I just put Susie in room one. Where do you want to put Romero and Faith? Can anybody hear me? Yes. Can you hear me, Romero? Yeah. Faith? Yeah. No, they can't. They're not saying anything. I can hear you. That works. Can you hear? Can you hear me? We can yeah. hear you now. Can you hear me, Faith? Yeah, yes, can we can. You. Did you not before? I'm. I've been. I've been we frustrated. For 10... before. We had to. We had to re-download Zoom because Zoom was not. Opening. All right. So, but I think my system is unstable, Susan. I, everyone keeps freezing, and I've been trying to talk for ten minutes, and no one can hear me. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do Did this. Did you now. update Zoom recently? No. Because we did, and it stopped working. You did, and it stopped working. Mm -hmm. So there's a problem with this. Well, it might have. I might have an on auto update. I'm not sure. It might have. Are you a, on a Mac or a PC? PC. Okay, we're on a Mac. Okay, you have you have powers, Rob. Well, yeah, I don't know. This is like three times I've had to go back out and come back in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to run the meeting. Um, yeah. So so I set up the rooms. Uh huh. Where do you uh, want to put? Um, Faith and Romero. Well, there's only four people in room uh, four. There's only three people in room four. Okay, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you guys the four. Okay. And you can move freely around, Rob. Okay. Looks like we got it. Okay, the six people in room five and only 
uh, four and room four. We should probably move somebody from five to four. Uh, I wanted to be in four. <clears throat> I mean, I could go over there. Where are you now? I, Deborah says she'll be here about seven. Yeah, yeah, so do that. Go to four. Okay. That balance is a better. I'll tell, okay. I'll tell everybody. Let me, let me go and tell. And why is Terry here? Why is Terry here? All right, you guys, I'm going to have to leave you. I have to go to another room. Okay. Bye. Why, why is Terry showing up like she's uh, in the main room here? But oh, because she needs two rooms. It also says she's in room four. Yeah, she her she has two um, accounts. Oh, like all right, she, she needs to rename one of them then. I'm going to do that. Uh, rename, rename, rename. Terry Extra. It's too confusing. Okay. And cat, what's cat's iPad? That's Bob's thing? Bob. Okay, so I'm going to go to see my new team. Okay. Let me turn down the volume.
we have a Susan, but not the Susan. She has two things going. <laughs> when I first logged on, she's on there twice. So was it, you said you're right across the river. Is that Belleville? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm in Collinsville, which is, uh, okay. if you know where that's that, at. Yeah, yeah, because that whole area is like all these little boroughs. Yep. My son, my son lives just right. next to, uh, oh, crap. What is it? Starts with an S. But I take, um, it, I take exit 16. Oh, okay. 64. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he's yeah. A, that's the one that's uh, got the target and the jury in and yep. all that stuff. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Yep. yep, yep, yeah. And I, uh, I have worked at the hospital in Belleville. Shiloh. Okay. Probably what she was thinking of for S. Yeah. No, was that it? Shiloh, Shiloh is exit sixteen. Yeah, Shiloh okay. and Remount. But I mean, you go get off at exit sixteen and you go the right direction and you end up in Belleville. Uh -huh. anyway. Yep. Yep. It's all they're all close to each other within like 10 20 minutes of each other. Uh-huh. Yep. I've gotten to know the area quite well. Actually, I scouted out his house for him when he got out of the navy. They you know needed a, a house to go to. So I think I made oh gosh, 10 trips to go see houses and stuff and I everything was like on camera. Okay, here's the kitchen and here's the bathroom and here's the real estate agent was just awesome. Oh, look, Jane showed up. Finally, you got in. Hi, Jane. Yeah, Jane came. I kept letting you in, and then you weren't here. And I'd let you in, and you weren't here. I'm like, what the heck? You're on mute, Jane. You're, you're muted, Jane. There you go. Am I unmuted? You yes. are. OK, sorry. Um, yeah, I couldn't, it wouldn't connect. It wouldn't connect for like 15 minutes. And I finally restarted my computer. And we've all had trouble. <clears throat> I think that's probably the best thing. Maybe we should all restart our computers right before we come to Zoom and we're going to play. So, right, right, at like 15 minutes before we start the computer, because you know, I actually did that. And it hasn't that's helped me. what I did. I, I would recommend a little bit more than 15 minutes because if you reboot and something goes wrong that's an awful desperation to fix what went wrong when you rebooted okay so like an hour and a half <laughs> I, 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 think, I think 57 minutes yeah. <laughs> the optimal we should each do it at a different mm. time and then we can yeah. determine we should, what we should have reboot slots we have a sign up list what, what what's the name of uh richard Wiseman's 59 minutes i think Yes, 59 minutes. Yeah. Right, seconds. Adrian? 59 seconds. Oh, that's 59 seconds. seconds. Oh, that's really quick. That's too quick. Rob, yeah. you're supposed to know these things. You yeah, you just spoke to him, Rob. By the way, I've watched all of those, except Niamh, you Naomi. I haven't you spoke to your close personal friend, Rich, uh, Richard Wiseman. I love him. He's great. He is such a fantastic human being. He's so funny. On my screen, this is bad. What's wrong, Rob? Rob's fading. Yeah, Rob may have to. You know, there's a big solar storm today, and it may be affecting everyone's ability to get on. I don't have any problem. That's a good excuse. It'll work. <laughs> Hi, Peggy. Uh, apparently, it doubled Carl's internet download speeds, though. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Char we, Charter we only have blue skies here. So remember, yeah. we're on our best behavior because we have a new person here, and she watched one of the videos. I did. That is that is insane. So technically, she's already prepared for our normal behavior. She's not a newbie, then, yeah. yeah. Well, and and she has actually met some of us in real life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, she knows after, some of us are harmless. And she after spending like us. an entire weekend <laughs> full with a in a room full of skeptics. Yeah. Yeah, but after watching the video, I'm really scared, though. I'm really scared. What is we're, it? Oh, we're an intimidating group. Oh, we are not. What is it that's scary? You, you guys are really smart. I don't know. Oh. I'm, well, <laughs> I'm okay. way over my head here. We're oh, recycling no. through the questions for the third time, so we're beginning to learn. <laughs> yeah. well, we've been doing this for three years almost now, so we've kind of got it down as far as... If it looks easy to us, it's because we're actually 
It's seven o'clock. <laughs> hey, hey okay, Susan, wow. what happened to Adrian? She's out. She thinks she's restarting her computer. Oh my God! Every time the cat gets up here, I have to get down and go over. I gotta go give Rob his. Hey Rob. Room. Hey Rob. Rob's just starting. Is he? Is he there? He's unstable. Oh. Well, we've known that. Yeah, connection, <laughs> unstable connection, unstable yes. connection. But how's that? Yeah. I'm not going to be able to do this. Why? Cool. What? Is uh, uh well, Rob, Rob was going to, Rob was going to pretend to be Susan. All right. Uh, who's oh. speaking of the house? What? Oh, we're in a. Now we the are. President's not available. The vice president's not available. Okay, so Deborah's here now. I think. We have to go to the Speaker of the House. So the Rob room. said that, Susan, Rob said that he's not going to be able to do this. Oh, that's awkward. Because his uh, his internet is unstable. I wanted to be on the team tonight. All right. I can do I'm a bonus, you... and I'm on his team. Oh. I wonder if he tried his phone to do it with. I wonder what's going on with this thing. He was going to be round one, right, Susan? Yeah, yeah. Oh, was yeah. it one? Yeah, because yeah. cause we're in room one, so. I can do a category if you need it. <laughs> so should I do, so let me let me turn off this. I won't be able to do my comfy chair. Maybe skip one and go to round two first. You know, room two can go first. Okay, Just do let, a lot of let me turn this off. Let me leave here and I'm going to go to my other monitor. So hold on a second. I'll take care. I, I have, I can do this. Shit. What? We agree. I'm a little bit worried about Susan. Oh, Rob's back. Okay. There's, there's the back. familiar looking Susan. You guys miss me? Thanks so much, Rob. Are I you? just wasn't feeling hey, good Susan? this afternoon and I'm feeling a lot better. So let me see. All right. Let me find my find my um <laughs> okay, here comes Romero. Boy, he said that he was also out. And Deborah's if you start not to feel put in a place either. Talents. Okay. There's Romero. So Jane, normally we're much more organized than this. It's just that um we're we're intimidated by your presence. Super hundred percent. So I decided to let Rob run it. Okay, let me just get this right. Okay, room one is then. Hi, Carrie. Peggy. Susie. 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 That's close. And Terry. Okay, what's your team name? What Terry? Wait, wait. Ben, Cindy, Peggy, Susie, and Terry. No, I'm in, no, I'm no, I'm in room I, four. Yeah, it's. Oh, that's Terry Extra. What are you doing in room yeah, one? C Cindy, Cindy, Ben, Peggy, Suzanne, and Rob. Thank you. Okay, so what's your guys' team name? Our, we are the, the Weisselberg Roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. There it's in the chat. <clears throat> oh, Kido Gary Toki. All right, so the second room. Is Jane, N C L K I E, Janine, hmm. Carl, and Larry. All right, what you guys is calling yourself tonight? The FBI took Trump's retirement fund. <laughs> we have a theme going here. Yeah. <laughs> you think? I hope so. Okay. Third room <clears throat> Alan, Brian, Gail, Karen, and Leonard. We are COVID free for now. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? And Leonard. Okay, COVID free. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you, Karen. She's going to come running down here. Okay. That's, that's right. I would if you said you needed Except that. Except I'm sick. You can't come in my house. I took care of Steve with COVID. I, yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm totally different. I've been like licking things around the house. I will wrap <laughs> my body in saran wrap for you, Susan. Oh, she's so sweet. Isn't she the sweetest? Okay, so Deborah. We, we has might need to get video of that, Susan. 
<laughs> no, I'm feeling know. a lot better. I'll be right. Okay, Caspian, Kyle, Terry, and Deborah. I'll put Deborah on that team. All right. We are the deep state got to Caspian's phone. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's, as they should. As they should. He, he's he got all the secrets there. You know, Mark always calls him a spy. Because he's a spy. So Bob, Ron, Bob, Ron, Vincent, V-A-N-C-E-N-T, and Wendy. Who are you? The uh, FBI stole our high scores and planted low ones. <laughs> I like the political ones. They I like that. One. I like anything like that that makes it so that we can look back later and say, I know what was going on in the world. I think it'll be fun to go back and look at these. Okay. <clears throat> so... Here's how it's going to go. Now, Jane did actually see a video, so she kind of got an idea. So we're Well, Cindy, Cindy and I are also fairly, fairly, fairly new. We were talking about that in our group. So. Oh, but you've done this before. You're old hands at this now. This is, I think, Cindy's fourth time, I think. You see that, Jane? You get one day. <laughs> one <laughs> time. And yeah. then all yeah. bets are off. That's then it. You're, that's then you're right. Free game. I, I think when? Cindy has one more week on me. Oh, I think you're right. Okay, so now... Uh, so Rob isn't here, right? I don't see Rob. No. Nope. Okay. He keeps having. Do you have me on back. a team? Do you have me on team five, Susan? Kevin. Oh, here comes Adrian again. <clears throat> so Kevin's on five. Yes. Is there anybody I didn't mention? <coughs> Bob. <Bobby. Model. laughs> ben, Cindy, Peggy, Susie, Rob, Jane. Janine, Carl, Larry, Alan, Brian, Gail, Karen, Leonard, Caspian, Kyle, Terry, Deborah, Bob, Ron, Vincent, Wendy, Kevin, Adrian. We haven't missed, missed Adrian. Adrian, what, did they put you in a room before? No, I was not in a room. Uh, that was one of the things that uh, I was sitting, hanging out in the, the lobby. Okay, so you're going to go on two. Oh, good. You're getting Jane, Janine, Carl, and Larry. Woohoo. Am I echoing anymore? No, you nope. sound great. You're fine, fine, fine. No, fine, no, no. You're no, fine, no. fine, 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 fine. Richard would be proud of your audio quality. Oh, yay. <laughs> Susan uh, blames Richard for all my computers I today. He I have given her a new thing today. to plug in. <laughs> it is always something new. Okay, so where are we at? All right, so let me get over to my, my trivia thing that I'm normally there. Like I said, I normally have this all together. Okay, so Rob is in here this second. So let's go to uh, let's go to round two, and then let's let and then let Rob to see if he gets here. If Rob can't get here, then we're gonna let Peggy probably do it, even though we'll be off a little bit. We'll live. Let me just change the date on here. So today. Are you sure? I don't know. It's... We can do this. Here comes Rob again. So let's go. I think getting... we should skip him and just let him get his get his his uh, stuff together. This is game. <laughs> oh, we are on. <clears throat> what are we on? Game 121. 121. Uh, season three, episode 12. Yep. That's Rob, amazing. are you back? Are you able to do it? I think so. I got it. I, I'll take care of it. I'm feeling a lot better, Rob. Okay. But so I, do you feel like you could do a round, your first round? Or well, we'll see. What, I, I, I rebooted the, route, the router and I just did a test and it seems okay in both my Wi-Fi and uh, the, the hardwire PC, which I'm using before. Both of them were fluctuating crazily, so. Okay, so I'm going to make you co-host so that you can go ahead and do your round first then. So uh, everybody's unmuted at this point because we want to hear what Rob's going to do for his category and then we can give a good groan of, oh no, and then we're going to have some muting going on. So I will have, who's going to have <laughs> muting today? I'll do it. Where are you? Right okay, here. so I'm going to put you in, Vincent. Sure. In charge of being the mean person and kicking out the trolls. Okay. All, yeah. all six of them. Okay, so Robert. Okay, Paul. so here we time go. Time travel. First category, yeah, time travelers. Yeah, yeah. I have done tri time travel before. So they boot Rob out. This, uh. this is going to be more specific. This is time travelers. And, and here's, <laughs> here's, what, here's what the game is gonna be. I'm going to give you some or all of the characters traveled in time, name the source material, book, movie, or TV series. Can I go ahead, 
in time, get the answers and come back. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you can All right, travel, Vincent. Yeah. Let, let us know how that works out for you. I, I get a 10, you know it worked. <laughs> So how do we'll I do only he already let us know how it worked out for him? He, we've just all forgotten. Okay, yeah, so uh, I forgot how to mute. So you want to go under participants, I think. Part uh, oh, yes, that. yeah, click participants, and then there's a mute all button, a, a, a drop down thing will come up, and then it says mute all. Yeah, and we got to remind okay. whoever, whoever it is who's there. Okay, okay. three, two, one. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. And remember, you're you're not muted, Vincent. It doesn't mute the person who does it for some odd reason. Um, so, number one, Susan Foreman, K nine, Jack Harkness, Donna Noble, Clara Oswald, and Bill Potts. Number two, Dr. Douglas Phillips. Dr. Anthony Newman. Number three. Dr. John Leslie Stevenson and Amy Robbins. Number four. Captain Matthew Yeller, Commander Dick Owens, Warren Lasky, and Laurel Scott. Number five, Theodore Logan and William Preston. Number six, Agent Max Walker, Agent Sarah Fielding, and Senator Aaron McComb. I get a feeling Ginny knows all of these. Number seven, Henry de Tamble and Alba de Tamble. Number eight, first names only, Aaron and Abe. Number nine, Ray, Pete, Toby, Cassie, and Millie. Number 10, Grant McLaren, Carly Shannon, Trevor Holden, Philip Pearson, Marcy Wharton, and Vincent Ingram. And because these are not the easiest, I'm giving you two bonuses. Bonus one, Mobius and Mobius, original parents there, and Ravona Renslayer, and also Sylvie. Bonus two, Simon Randall and Liz Skinner. And there you go. Good luck, everybody. I know Susan knows all these. Can you explain the concept again? I don't want to show off, you know, so maybe I'll, I'll play it. Uh, you play it cool? Yeah, I'll play it cool because I don't want to show off. So Yeah, me too. In, in, in case Brian wasn't joking, <laughs> in e each of those are a set of people who traveled in time in either a book, a movie, or TV series. Name it. Well, that's what I thought you said the first time, but okay. Okay, so Vincent, do you want to send us to our rooms? Okay. And I will add whoever has not been put in a room yet. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Okay, so Adrian, you are going to go to two. Nice. We need to go back. Uh, Deborah, you're going to be going in four. Faith Romero, you are in. We're what in were Caspian. you guys in? We're five? in Caspian's phone. Okay, Cas you're in four. I got to write you in. Kevin, you were in five. Rob, you can roam all you want. No, no. I don't. I'm okay, though. Oh, but you can. I can. Okay. Okay, so I got to put Faith Romero in this room. R-O. Okay. So I'm you're going to go to, room. you're going to go to room one. So I. Oh, uh, do you recognize some of the names from travelers? I okay. recognize Marcy. 
Okay, sure. And Graham McLaren, I think he's the FBI guy. And how new is that show? It's old. It, it stopped broadcasting. Okay, they, but like how many years ago? Uh, my uh, and the reason in okay. the twenty teens. Okay, the reason why I ask is there's a chance that these may uh, be in chronological really order. Ah, uh, because Loki is bonus number one. That's pretty recent. Uh, um, Doctor okay, Who we know has been on for a very very long time. Like. Four, four decades. And then Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure was like in the 80s. So oh, yeah, these could one. be in chronological order, but I'm not positive. So anybody recognize any of these other ones? I'm really drawing mm -hmm. a blank on a lot of these. Um, yeah. Agent Walker, Agent Fielding. I don't know. that Maybe that was <laughs> what I want to say is um... The FBI I, show. FBI. How about we also come up with names of uh, books, movies, or whatever that are yeah. time travel? So I was thinking like Quantum Leap because he also travels in time in Quantum Leap. That's true. <clears throat> but I didn't recognize any of the names. But again, he's purposefully picking names of characters that aren't the common ones. You know, prominent because that way it makes it too easy to guess. Quantum Leap is a good one. That it, 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 if we're going chronologically, where would it fit? I think that show was the eighties. Yeah, because so, I remember around, seeing it on. I mean, on the um, question two or be, question three. Uh, not necessarily. Doctor Who's pretty old, and Bill and Ted's is eighty, so it could be four or six too. It could be. I can't remember if it if that show came on before or after the Bill and Ted's movie. <laughs> yeah, Did but the have... the Harkness character in Doctor Who was not before. Bill and Ted. No, okay, but I think he's just listing yeah. he's show. listing characters from that show. Yeah, Doctor Who just started um, back in the early and 60s. that's uh, Quantum Leap was Doctor Beckett and I forget who what his partner's name was. So they were doctors. Mm -hmm. So maybe it is two. No, but three has doctors. There's a lot of these that have doctors, but uh, only doctors time travel. No, well, a lot. <laughs> okay, so let's think. What else is a time travel movie? Spot or TV time show. travel? Uh, uh, Voyage Home. None of these are Spock. None of these are Star Trek. Yes. Yeah, um... Yeah, there was one Star Trek movie that was a time travel time traveling. Right, but none of these names are fitting. Yeah. So let's think. They could be minor characters, though. Agent um, Max Walker, Agent Sarah Felding, and Senator McCoon. I don't know the senator who that's from. Okay. Time travel. And then this is like a husband and wife thing, I guess. Seven. Henry. Or father and daughter. No. Yeah. Could it be um oh no. Lost in space. They didn't time travel, did they? No, I don't think they, they time traveled. Space. Yeah. Pisses me off as Carl's gonna have all of these. I know. I'm really bummed because I should know my time travel stuff better, but you got COVID, so you had an excuse. I know my brain doesn't work. All right. all right, time travel. Because one was so easy, and then he like read the next one and the next one. And I'm like, dang it, Doctor John Stevenson. That sounds very familiar, though. I just can't remember what from. Well, you guys know I avoid anything that's time travel related, like the plague. So, <laughs> you know, Susie, you're on mute. Did you know that? In case you were trying to say something. Uh, no, I didn't. So but we have all I the answers don't. since you were on mute. Since You've been yelling at us. I know Jack. Oh, you know Jack, huh? We already got that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nope. I just finished a book about time travel, and it was not on this list. <laughs> How about time? Isn't there one that's a time traveler's wife or 
time. Yeah, movie. The, yeah, but maybe that. Maybe that's the Henry de, Henry de Trap Tabel. I didn't read it, so I don't know if it's. I don't know anything about the people, but I've heard. I've seen the cover. Time. So yeah, they made, made, made into a movie. Yeah, it was made into a movie about a decade ago. So if all else fails and we can't come up with something, we'll just put that in for everyone that we have a blank. Okay. Unless you guys come up with some other brilliant Because we only have like three, well, four answers so far, which is Rob not great. Rob sabotaged his own team again. Thanks, Rob. You want to put the quantum leap in? Guess, guess how many Carl's team has. <laughs> all Probably all 10 already. Maybe 11. Of course. Yeah, we hate him already. Yeah. We were just talking about that. I said, God. How, why Why do you come up with a category like this while I'm on COVID brain, Rob? How dare you? I you? Ben, I am so disappointed. I thought, oh, Ben's on the team. We'll do well. In this yeah, place. my brain's not functioning on all cylinders right now. And I hate time travel. And you know damn well I'm going to be in your team. <laughs> it's your own fault. Why do you hate time travel? I got to ask that question, but I was muted, so you didn't hear. Oh, because I feel like it's a it's a cheat. You know, it's like we can't come up with a really good storyline, <laughs> so let's just make it time travel. And then right. they all almost always have to go back and try to uh, fix JFK or something to do with Hitler. It's like really, <laughs> and no, it's I just like we got to stop JFK from getting just shot. Slightly straw manning the whole genre. Nobody ever goes. Yeah, back really, and says, really. Let's keep. Let's keep um what's his face? Um, that movie with Michael J. Fox. Oh Back to the Future. That's what it, that's Back to the Future. Favorites. Now which name though? <laughs> I don't remember any of the characters' names. Could that be Aaron and Abe? No. Well, you have to remember though, these aren't just all the characters in the book or movie or TV series. These are people who time traveled. Right? That's the gist mm -hmm. of it. They're the ones who traveled. Yes, hence the name "time travelers." Well, neither none of these are the people who time traveled. I don't think sliders ever traveled through time. I think they just traveled through different a alternate wormhole. dimensions. Another a really, wormhole. what is it called? A, whenever you see stuff like this, it's just like a science fiction. <laughs> well, no, it's like it's just to me, it feels lazy. Like, um, geez, some of the most it called? Whenever, stories whenever, uh, ever uh, a trope. It's a trope. Calls it lazy. Okay, wait, wait. Did you read any of Dean Koontz's movies, uh, books about the odd, t odd times? Well, there was Mr. Murder. And there was sort of, he went to the moon and picked up moon rocks or something. I don't think he ended up time traveling. I was, or, Are you talking yeah, I was Dean Koontz, I think, right? No, but that wasn't the book I just finished reading. The Odd, the odd Thomas, it was a series of three books. There was time no. travel? Yeah. Okay, which one is it? Um, he, there wasn't any of the characters that were listed. Rob's going to pick movies more than he's going to pick books, I think. No, necessarily. Did he say screen, screenplays? Is that part of the instructions? No. Source no, books, material, movies, book, movie, and TV. or TV series. Right. What was I just thinking? I was thinking of something, and then I lost my train of thought. A Wrinkle in Time? The Time Travel? Yeah, that was a, a book that came out when I was a kid. That definitely came out when, back there's in the a recent, 60s. There's a recent movie of it, too. Yeah, I think it's a movie. Who uh, the there's time travel? The, the Terminator. There's time oh, travel, yeah. but I don't recognize any any characters from the Terminator in any of these, either. Yeah. And the Terminator. TV shows. Oh, it's going to bug me because I'm probably going to recognize all the answers when I hear them, but I there's, just can't recognize these uh, characters to save my life. There's one that uh, I really enjoyed. Mark and I actually did enjoy. It was yeah. called Sapphire and Steel. But the people who time traveled were... <clears throat> Um, not people here. Detail. I was telling I you guys all about seven. it, how exciting it was, but it's nobody's name here. <clears throat> I can't remember the names now, but it wasn't anybody here. Sarah Fielding. 
Toby, Cassie, Millie. I'm really maybe seven. You can put time traveler's wife since it seems seven? like a family. Yeah, you could just guess that. Good one. Guess. Yeah. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, yeah. I really am going off of this. It's like they're he's only giving first names for a reason. Millie, Cassie, maybe that's a kids Toby. movie. Maybe that's a movie for kids. Escape to Witch Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that I was time traveler. So all right, I don't let's know. let's just start thinking of all the time travel movies and TV shows. Well, that's what I've been doing, and I'm not coming up with a lot. <laughs> Um, so there was that time was it time tunnel time the really old one oh yeah we haven't put quantum leaps in here huh no yeah I don't think we decided which one could we could put uh, quantum leap at is Abe one of the characters from quantum leap I've never watched an episode. I do remember those. But names. Sam Beckett is the main character, but he wouldn't have chosen Sam Beckett because that would have been like a no-brainer. Yeah. So maybe Abe. Oh, you want? We can put it here. It's better than that. Nothing. Sounds good. Yeah. It's better than nothing. Oh, I know another one. This time travel is Mark Twain's the King Arthur's Court. What was yeah, King Arthur's Court. Connecticut Yankee. Yeah, King King Arthur's Court. Yeah. Arthur's Court. Do we right. recognize any characters? No. <laughs> <laughs> I read that in college. I have. If it, yeah, if it's chronological, it would be the first one. Yeah, you're right. So if it's not no. chronological, <laughs> I came so up with the time drop. Put it for for number two. Can I mute myself so I can blow my nose? Hold on. And then what did we say it was? Number well, two. it's not going to get doctors, Yankee and it? King Arthur's court. Yeah, but though there was the character was a man and a and a woman. The, but those she, were the time travelers. No, the man was a time traveler. He met a woman during that time period, but that wasn't nobody was a doctor in mm -hmm. that novel. Nobody was a doctor. Right, well, I'm not going to waste it on that then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it was just an ordinary man. No, nothing. Not a scholar. Okay. Apparently, I need to brush up on my um, time travel stories. You and me, <laughs> you and me both. He's got to run out of this category eventually. I'm just bummed <laughs> that I don't instantly recognize a lot of these. Hello, kitty. Put your butt in the camera. That's what cats are supposed to do. <laughs> Mark says from time to time and time and again. Jack Benny. Jack Benny. I don't think they fit. I don't know anything about Is he them. keeping his distance from you or does he have oh, he has it to also? Too, okay. We'll have him read these names and see if he recognizes any of them. He needs to play. Mark, if he's not on his own this? team, he has to help us. No. He doesn't want to help. Fine then. You asked me for two time travel things. I gave. So you. what it is is it's got the list of the people's names. The characters. Come here. Do any of these character names ring a bell? And so, so it's good stuff. But that's not time travel. Invasion no. of the bells. Okay, never mind. Um. What is it we were going to put down over and over until we? I don't remember. Probably be on here. Back to the future. But the only two people who go in the future are the main Marty character. Marty McFly. And then the, that strange doctor. Yeah. Yep. So they're not on here, so that can't be it. No. Uh. So number two, it's two doctors. There was an old show on in the uh, six, early 60s, mid 60s. Let's let this was go on for a long time. Tom, time tunnel, maybe? Wasn't the time machine. Time tunnel? 
I think it was, yeah, try Time Tunnel for two, because that's probably the only one that would be remotely as old as Doctor Who. Yeah, that's good. And again, the the order of these being chronological could totally yeah. be off. But knowing right. Rob, he's yeah. a big stickler for. Yeah, the engineer order. brain. Yes, he is an ordered person. Then maybe Simon, um, no, sorry. Uh, that was just a bad guess. Um Who were the two agents along with the senator? I don't recognize those guys at all. Oh, I'm going to hear these names. I'm going to get upset because I'm going to be like, oh, I knew that. Or I knew that. <laughs> this is just to keep you humble. Yeah. In this case, ignorance is better. Did yeah. Rob get thrown off or something? Because we've been here a long time. Dr. John Leslie Stevenson and Amy Robbins. Rob, Mark just threw out the name The Time Machine. H.G. Wells. But that'd be way old, wouldn't it? It'd be before Doctor Who. Yeah, but that, that was also made into a movie. Yeah, they've remade that. But so, the characters would be that actually time traveled. Yeah. Would be that could be three. Why not Time Machine? Why not? It, it's better than what we got. H.G. Wells time machine. Yeah, because the inventor travels. I don't know if he t if he picks up like any passengers, like Doctor Who. Like and that Dr. was like Who. in the seventies. So if it if it is chronological, it kind of fits with number three. Yeah, kind of. Captain Matthew, Commander. So now we're up to like the 80s, maybe. Oh, well, yeah. Bill and Ted is definitely here. This one, number nine, is really interesting because they're all, like you said, first names. Yep. So they're probably, probably kids. Family. Or they're kids. Or Any the Disney show is movies? like somebody's Any last Disney? name. Any Disney movies that were time travel? Not that I can think of. But again, I'm probably just not thinking of things because my brain, like, I can't, like, I can't query it for info I right now. I'm going to be able to use that excuse. <laughs> Rob's in, in room four. I hope this is not a permanent part of my brain. I just saw an article about saying, oh, you can have brain fog for up to two years after having COVID. And I'm like, awesome. <laughs> I'm so well, excited. That's, that's pretty atypical. You can say, it's like whenever I was pregnant, I used it all the time whenever I was just not. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Yeah, so you just use it when you feel like it, Then whether you feel it or not. You know, I think I still have COVID brain. And everybody <laughs> goes, oh, I know what that's like. Me too. And then you get off. Repeat. God damn, freaking cords. My headset cord keeps getting in my way. What are you munching on? Ice cream. Twizzler. Oh, Twizzler. There you go. Um, oh, the perfect. And ice cream. Food. I'll take that too. Oh, I know. These are my, this is my I, ivermectin. I feel better. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> but that's all I got. So whenever I'm out, I'm out. I can't go to the store or anything. I do delivery. <laughs> Can I have five boxes of goods? I want to say Ghostbusters, but they never traveled in time. No. Yeah. Because because Ray and Pete are both names of Ghostbusters. But who the heck is Toby, Cassie, and Millie? How about a later version of the Ghostbusters? Yeah, but they still they never travel about all they do is bust the ghost. <laughs> yeah, they never travel in time. How about men in black? No, they don't have. Um Wait, yeah, one of the Men in Black movies they did, Men in Black 3, they went back in time. So maybe that could be Agent Max Walker and See? Sarah Fielding and the Senator. There we go. Well, that's what I mean. When you can't come up with a good... A good yeah, but it was Agent Smith. Did the they go back and try to... Back in time. Did they go back and try to rescue um, Kennedy? No. <laughs> and he said, it's but, that, but I don't think it's right. You say 
You said it's Man in Black 3. We probably should put 3 there. Well, he only wants the series. He doesn't need like oh. the specific. Oh, that's true. I think okay. he just is asking for the property. But I think Cindy's right. Normally, we would put that. Mm -hmm. We got lots of names. Yeah, I don't think any of them are right. but Except for like four of them. Four of them we got right. But I'm bummed at myself for not knowing more of this stuff. We can't always finish first. Uh, Red Dwarf, they don't travel in time. Um, Yeah, don't they? I don't know. But do you recognize any Red Dwarf characters? That's a good question. I don't. What's Red I would Dwarf? know them. Red Dwarf is one of the best science fiction shows ever of all times. And then you What's have it? like it's Mystery British. Science What's Theater. It? They don't travel in time. But I think that was the series oh, um, of movies. What was it? Buck Rogers. Uh, Buck Rogers. 21st Century? Oh. Yeah, he, he traveled in time because he was not he was a man out of time, but, but he was, was the only him. one who traveled in time and it only like was the one time to set up the show. So I don't know if that would qualify for any of these. Uh, not happy with myself. All right, guys. Good job for knowing any of these. Uh. <laughs> Hey Susan. Apparently hey, we're Vincent. yes. Apparently we're being recorded. So is that right? Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! I will miss Thank that. Letting you know, Vince. Yeah, I need to know that. Okay, so this was interesting. Watching uh, some groups knew them all immediately, and others had pretty much no clue. So this is going to be a widespread, I would say. Um, I bet you I know the group that really well. <laughs> Is it a group whose name has a K in it? Well, I tell mind. you, uh, un unless you guys improved after I left, I was really disappointed. Ben didn't get we, more. We were we were really busy visiting. This was social. <laughs> we ben, took it hard. Ben, ben was when you were I was just enough. thinking of any shows that had to do with time travel, and we were plugging them in. Okay. That's what we were doing. Too. I just guessed. We may suck at the trivia part, but we rock at the social part of the <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. We killed it. That's killed our it. That's my did we get TV points shows. for that? Okay, so here we go. Uh, except for the bonuses, these were in chronological order. We, of we've been figuring it out. Creation. Okay. Um, number one, I hope everybody got Doctor Who. Ooh. I named a whole bunch of companions there. <clears throat> Disappointed if people missed that one. So that was from 1963. No, from 1966, we have the time tunnel, the, the two scientists who were lost in time. Okay, we had that one down. Did we put that on number two? Yeah, we did. We got that one right. All right. We got two points. That was with the uh, captain that played in Enterprise. Uh, I don't remember that. Okay. Number three. So this was, I did not put the major character because it would have probably given it away, would have been H.G. Wells, but the other two characters also traveled in time. And uh, that was uh, Dr. John Leslie Stevenson was actually Jack the Ripper. And A.B. Robbins was um, a girl from the 1970s who got caught up in the whole thing. Okay, is that the one that was Dragon Doctor? Mary Stevenson. They tried to rescue JFK. He recently passed away David Warner. Yeah. That yeah. uh, oh, oh. So number four, um, I gave the two um, uh, the two ranks of two of the people. I thought that might help a little bit. So oh. that was on an aircraft carrier. That was. Hey. Oh, I put the wrong. I, I did the wrong thing. The final countdown. Oh. The final oh. countdown. Isn't that a song? Okay. All right. It is. Yep. All right. It is. And it's actually played at the end of another one of the ones that's coming Number up, nine. interestingly. Is there anything you don't know, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I don't know that, is that something I don't know? <laughs> Number six. Uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme's Sorry, most successful film, a time travel film. Oh, time, time travel. Cop. Uh, what happened to number five? five? And I did skip five. number five. Sorry. Yes. 
Number five, uh, that uh, the nicknames of uh, Theodore is Ted and William is Bill. So that's Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. We got it. Uh, we got it. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. We're not shut out. Um, number seven, uh, a novel which turned into a movie which just had a run on the first season of a TV series. It was pretty good. Uh, the Time Traveler's Wife. Yes. Hey, I guessed it would be Travers somewhere here. <laughs> we we had some good guesses, that's for sure. So so what character was Alba? Because Henry was the only one who actually traveled. Well, I'm not going to say because that's a spoiler for the whole thing. Okay, yeah. sorry. She, oh. But she time yeah. travels. Number eight is, um, I bet nobody got this one, Primer or Primer. Oh, oh, yeah. never kind heard of, of that one. An in, in indie film. Two guys in an office come up with a time machine and it makes a bizarre time loop. That gets very complicated. Did they end up trying to run run Roger Ebert's movie list after he died? <laughs> See, no, it was quite good. Nine. Oh, okay. Nine is one of my favorites that I stumbled upon. It's almost impossible to watch in the U.S. because it was created by uh, by um, BBC in conjunction with HBO, but it, it basically only plays. You can't even buy like a DVD in, in that you can play in an American machine, but occasionally they'll, they'll stream it. It's frequently asked questions about time travel. Oh, yeah. I should have read it. I just watched HBO that about a few months ago. Before it became HBO Max. <laughs> First, the Hitchhiker guy in the galaxy was also a time travel. Uh, so, yes, number 10 is a fairly recent series from 2016 Travelers. Oh, I was right. Uh, I watched that. All right, Vincent. Got it. Good job. Go back I think that was Cindy. Now. Cindy, you gave us that one? Yeah, wait, I'm gonna wait. go back in time now and give my and, team. And, the and I heard, I heard somebody. I think it was Karen saying she remembers him from Will and Grace. No, 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 that's not right. Yes, it is right. You know that actor? He's really handsome. Was in Will and Grace, and I remember seeing like an ad for it, like on Hulu or something. <laughs> ah. Well, he looks kind of like John Stamos, but that's not John Stamos. Bonus Damn. number one, uh, yeah. the most recent of the series. This is Loki. This is it a, is shoot. This is a, That's what I was going to guess. Damn. And of, of course, Loki also travels in time. But if I put Loki yeah. down, that would have kind of given it away. Yeah. And I'll bet nobody got this last one because I never heard of this until three days ago when somebody handed me a DVD series. Um, it's not a really good bonus, then, Rob. Uh, it, that's why it's a second time bonus. Time it's time slip. So yeah, it's a it's a it's a British series that uh, some British kids. Is a, it's a, it's basically about kids, but it got such rave reviews that Terry Pratchett, uh, amongst others, was asked to rank all of the uh, fiction on British television, and he put thirteenth on the list. So I am going to binge watch this. And in 1975, Richard O'Brien uh, premiered the Rocky Horror Show. And it has a lyric where it says, you're into the time slip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that might be it. Let's that's, do the time that's meta. And the play, the movie came out in 75, but the play was before that, the Rocky Horror Show. So I wonder if he's referring to that. Ooh. Yeah, so the guy who gave me this DVD set, set said the same thing you just did. I don't know if it's true, but he has that, you know, he made that connection also. Yeah, because they do mention, they do reference a bunch of old movies in it. Yeah. I mean, that's a, not a Ray movie, and RKO and yeah. Yeah, yeah. Michael, right. Ren, Ren, Michael Rennie was ill the day the earth stood still. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a hard time believing that Rob Palmer, Rob Palmer, our Rob Palmer knows his rock and okay. That just freaks me out. Just kind of weirds me out a little bit. That's great. And, All right, uh, so let's do our scores. <laughs> yeah, good luck. All right. So I'm getting the Weiss in my time machine, going back. <laughs> the Weisenberg rule. Rob's team. Uh, we got six. Well, that's better than I thought. Better than I thought when I was. Looking. Yeah, we did. We did okay. <laughs> All right. FBI took Trump's retirement fund. And out of twelve. Wow. I like the name. I didn't you're, know the name. You're slipping, Carl. Come on, man. COVID free for Group now. With a we had eight. No. Wow. Eight. Yeah. Okay, so hey, the next Leonard. one is the deep state got to Caspian's phone. We had eight as well. Oh, I can't. Well, Caspian couldn't help. He didn't know. He, he's never, he wasn't raised on time travel. That was, that was banned in our household. Right? 
How do you know someone didn't go back and raise them in time travel? <laughs> I did. Yet. I just did. Got better things tell, to do. tell them we just got 10. I'll, didn't we? I'll bet so against that 10. one. Okay, FBI <laughs> stole her high scores and planted low ones. 10. What? Seven. Stop oh. saying incorrect answers. So <laughs> the medium score or the average score was 7.8. Not bad, yeah. people. Right. Yeah, we had a nine. The lowest score was score. your team, Rob. Of course. <laughs> Category curse. So you know, you know how this is. Okay, who's up next? Can we take a break after this? Who's next? I'm up next. Carl. Well, we know a category Carol can't soar in. Where are you? Carl. Well done, well done Rob. Can't recognize Carl. Okay, so we're going to trade Carl for me. All right, this is going to be a win. Can't recognize Carl when he's actually looking at the camera. Yeah, I know. All right, Carl. He has a face. He's like the old man in the mountain. He doesn't look like anything if you're looking at him head on. The All subject right. is editing Wikipedia. <laughs> Something. Movie like title, us? movie title theme round. Name the movie from the description. Everything fits a theme. You don't get any points for knowing the theme. It just helps you figure out some of the answers. Muting all in three, two, one. All right. Number one. 1973 exploitation horror sequel. The vampire Mwalde, an ancient African prince turned into, an, into va a vampire by Dracula himself, is stirred by African voodoo and is forced to kill again. Number two, 1963 comedy. A group of motorists witness a car crash in the California desert and after the driver's dying words indicate the location of a hidden stash of loot, they turn against each other and are race across the state to get it. Number three, James Bond movie. Spectre has stolen two American nuclear warheads and James Bond must find them before it's too late. Number four, from 1958, action war drama. A US sub commander obsessed with sinking a certain Japanese ship butts heads with his first officer and crew. Number five, 1970 epic historical war drama. The story of the 1941 Japanese air raid on the US naval base in Hawaii and the series of preceding American blunders that aggravated its effectiveness. Number six, 1966 comedy, without hostile intent. A Soviet submarine runs aground off New England. Men are sent for a boat, but the villagers go into a tizzy, risking bloodshed. Number seven, 1962, musical comedy. When he finds out his boss is retiring to Arizona, a sailor has to find a way to buy the West Wind, a boat that he and his father built. He's also caught between two women, insensitive, insensitive club singer Robin and Sweet Laurel. Number eight, 1968 family adventure fantasy. A down on his luck inventor turns a broken down Grand Prix car into a fancy vehicle for his children. And then they go off on a magical fantasy adventure to save their grandfather in a far off land. Number nine, 1956 comedy starring Tony Curtis and Jerry Lewis. A friend visits his philandering friend just as the man's scheme of being secretly simultaneously engaged to three flight attendants goes awry. Number 10, 1997 comedy. A lawyer finds his career turned upside down when his son's wish is fulfilled for 24 hours. And there is a bonus question for a maximum of 10 points. 
1965 exploitation action comedy, three go-go dancers embark on a spree of kidnapping and murder in the California desert. Oh, lovely. And there we go. Oh, boy. <clears throat> there, there's a theme that all these fit. If you know the theme, it might help you figure out some that you don't know the answers to. Is it time travel? It is not time travel. I will, I will, I will give you that much. Okay. So here we go. Wordle. Is it Wordle? <laughs> all right, let me put Kevin, you're in. Five. Yep. <laughs> Forget. When I come back. Hello, team. I'm your no team. Hi. I'm Carl. Hi, I'm Carl. <laughs> yes. And and we have. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be a profile like this. Hi, yes. I'm Carl. <laughs> and a cat. And a cat. And okay. all the answers. And all the answers, Susan. I have COVID brain. <laughs> next two years. Anytime I don't know. I have no idea on any of these. Sorry, guys. I have a couple. Some of these. Okay, good. Go for it, you guys. Who's okay, the first one is Blackula. It's what? Blackula. Blackula. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, is the theme a color? <gasps> oh. oh, good oh, for you, here. Susan. Very nice. I wrote, I'm that, pretty good with the themes. And that means no, that the second number. One, the number second one is um, it's a mad, 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 mad world. Is it? All right, well, I, oh, guess, look, I Troy's think coming in. Here comes Troy. That sounds right. And yes. so that's not. That's not going to work. And it doesn't work with the last one either, which we got. So what could it be color wise? It's a matter of happened to show up as I came up with a theme. It's not going to be colors, I don't think. It's not. Yeah. It is. Oh. <laughs> Number three, did you get three? Uh, Dad said it was Thunderball. Thunderball. Okay, all right. I knew he would know that because he's Mr. James Bond. All right, you know so forget what? the caller. I I think I know four, but I can't remember the name. It's it's like pink petticoats or Junction? Petticoat Junction? No, no, uh, that's not no, a it's, no. it's a it's a boat on the beach and and either that or it has Russia in the name. To Russia. Oh, Russian what? Petticoats? Japanese. Okay, it's a Japanese ship. I'm I'm getting less less certain because the one I was thinking of it was Russia. Oh. Jane, did you say you had a couple? Well, I might have a I might have another, but not this one. Okay, which one? Four. We're on four. Which yep. one do you have? Oh, I don't know. I don't okay. know. That, Five. I I don't know. I'm. Uh, let me go. Let me look down through them and see if sure. I know more. I had the first two. Let's the only thing I could think of for, for five was Pearl Harbor. Is it? Is, is the call of movie that? Is, is it there easy? a movie called Pearl Harbor? There, there is one. At least one. Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> okay. there's several. There's several. Yeah. Well, this there. is a 1970 movie. Number mm -hmm. five is so. Um, story. Let's see. That's not I, a I bad wrong, guess. The wrong room. Rob. Oh, that actually, oh. that number five does sound like. Girl. Oh, number six was the one I was thinking that I knew. Um, oh, okay. Oh, that's like so be pink, yeah. Petticoats, pink petticoats. That that was one. Oh, you're thinking. Yeah. See, this was one that this. It sounds really familiar, and I just can't think of the name. I of know, it. but I can literally see the movie, but I can't remember the name. Yeah. It's oh. so amazing that I can remember remember it. I'm in shock. Troy, you don't have anything else for us? It's not most like, of these are well before my time. I haven't watched a lot. Hey, of hey, a lot of these are before <laughs> my time too. So a little snot. But that's what gave me hope. They're, they're not even recent enough for them to be old movies to me. They're, they're comedies like, they're in like the 50s and 60s. <laughs> comedies in the 50s and the 60s. I smack it when I, know. I see him. I don't care if he's got COVID oh, or better okay. or whatever. Uh, yay science. Yeah. Yay science. It wasn't COVID the second time. It was pneumonia. Oh, it was pneumonia? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Had to get some antibiotics. Hey, Kitty, do you know any of these, Ham? Do you know any of these? So number seven, any yeah, ideas? Right. Sounds very familiar. Oh, Ham's got one, right? Come on, what is it, honey? Ham? Ham? You just tried to 
1962, I was uh, six. I was negative one. <laughs> I was I was around, but I don't I don't think I was doing anything because I was probably I was in high school. I was a babe in somebody's arms. No, I wasn't. Not quite. I was I was eighth grade. Depending on the month. So 1966 so, one. It's not. I was four. Pink. It's not pink petticoats. Is there something Russia? Uh, Russia love. Russia from Russia something. with love. It's not from Russia with love. With it's love? not that one, but I it was. I don't think so. No, it's not. It's something about Russian petticoats. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, I have two movies. We'll go to some together. of these others because maybe they'll give us the theme. Oh, jump out. Except what? What? I was thinking it was repeating words like it's a mad, 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 mad world. And um, I think number eight is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yeah, I was thinking that one of these. Oh. Yeah, that sounds right. I was thinking of that very, I had that image in my mind and I couldn't think of what it was. I think yeah. you're right. Is that right? Okay, good. I feel what I, that's a, just my guess. I, I think remember right. that. And number, number nine, I, I'm sorry. Number 10 is Liar Liar. So you see how there's a lot of double words? <laughs> ah. Would you but say, Jane, is, would you uh, have for a night? Yeah, 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 but yeah. it doesn't work with Blackula or Thunderball. Yeah. Okay. Liar, liar is fine. Jane, what did you say <laughs> for nine? Number nine, I know the movie and I'm not sure the name of it. Let me, just give me a second. I know the movie. So hard to pull it out of our brain. He's a pilot, I, I think. He's a pilot. Ooh. I know six, but I can't think of the name. It's the same thing. Yeah. Boeing. So is it Tony Curtis that's uh, uh, gauged to uh, three women? Yes. And 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 yeah. Jerry Lewis is playing his idiot self. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I've probably seen it, but I don't remember it at all. I used to love watching all those old movies. Oh, back in ancient day, huh? Yeah, I was babysitting. Well, I've seen probably after midnight, and all the old movies come on. It's like Boeing, 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 like a plane, Boeing, 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 because it's a double word, which makes me wonder if like his point is wrong. Could Black and Lippy wrong? Is that number nine, Boing Boing? The one? Boing um, Boing. Yeah, number, number yeah, nine. Uh, Boeing, like the plane, not yeah. the plane. number nine? Yes. So that uh, makes me wonder if number one is, well, it says it's an exploitation horror sequel. Blackula sounds good. Blackula sounds Blackula good. is original. Could yeah. it be Blackula, Blackula is back or something? Blackula, or Blackula, Blackula. Blackula. <laughs> yeah, Blackula, wonder... Black. Black, 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 Blackula. Blackula. Black. Yeah. Well, then that means number three is wrong. Spectre has stolen two Mercury. Can you think of another? Um, I don't know of any James, James Bond. Bond, Bond like James Bond name. with double names. words. Yeah, you can ask him. Let me ask Mark. Could the word trap be in number nine? Number nine. No. Trap. Boeing. Or... Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm just, like a different, you know, a different name. <clears throat> Mark says number three sounds like Thunderball. Yeah. So it, it, there's something strange going on. 
Unless another one of the answers is Thunderball. <laughs> Thunderball, Thunderball. Yeah. Like number four, maybe is Thunderball. No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the name. I, I think there's a, I think that number- It's eight o'clock. Oh, sorry. That was my- <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was so cute. Was that you, Pelton? Did you say that? I didn't know. My computer announces the time every hour. Um, and it's a British, a British accent. accent. Yeah, I have a, an I, Irish, I think, accent. Her name's Fiona. Um, she names her clocks. <laughs> well, you, it's a choice that you make on- Apple on the Macintosh, you, you choose who it is going to. Mine know. doesn't tell me things in British accent. What? I've got my phone set to an Australian accent, just you know, to get you to Richard. <laughs> All right. Are you on, talk ladies. into it and your voice comes out of the Australian accent? So here's that what I think. Cool. I think that number two is a sequel. I mean, number one is a sequel to Blackula, right. which probably has a double name in it, and I don't know what it is. Whoa. So it's the sequel to Blackula is what you're thinking. Yeah, you and I think it probably has, that has double repeating, names. A repeating word in it, and I don't know what it is. Any movies that you guys can think of that are double words? It's a mad, mad world. Yeah, we got, oh, but yeah, we, we didn't put that. that. Where okay. Did put, where did we put that? That was number, number two. two. Okay. Which ones are we, have we not answered yet? Four, Here. six, seven. Let me ask my husband. Oh, number 11. Uh, let's oh, see. do you know what? Let's we just figured out there were two Thunderball movies. How about Baba Black Sheep? It was a re they repeated it. Like there were two made? Is that what you're saying, Troy? That Thunderball was made twice? So the first time the remake is called Never Say Never Again. <gasps> never Say Never Again. That's Very what good. I said. Never Say yeah. Never Again. Yeah. And uh, that also comes to the Tora Tora Tora. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, Tora Tora. Oh. That's it. With an exclamation point Can at the end. you ask that about this one here, the... Um, this one, the sub commander one, 1958. That's number four. That's Tora Tora, isn't it? <clears throat> no, that was five. Five is the. Oh, Tora Tora. Tora. One. Yeah, Tora 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 sounds good. And number four. So it's. The Let me ask my husband about the Soviet submarine. Sure. Because I saw uh, that. Uh, wasn't that something like Red Dawn or something? It's got to have a double word. He might know that he would probably know the horror one too because he loves those weird, obscure horror things. So, Red Dawn is not what you think. Red Dawn is the one about the teenagers who fight the Russians. And it doesn't have a double word. So, Bob Bob Black Sheep was a TV Yeah, story. get him in here. Yeah, it was. Robert Conrad. Robert Conrad. But was it a movie also? I don't think so. So, it number four is, it, is another one? Oh, and number one, you might know because you like those obscure, weird horror movies. <laughs> Just read them all. Yeah. Sorry, which, which <laughs> comes of a double. You don't do know you that know, one? Do you, you know, know sequel the to sequel Blackula? to Blackula? <coughs> no. Blackula? It's no. A African. Uh, I was six years old. <laughs> and horror movies. It's didn't a mad, 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 mad world. We got that one. We got three. Number four, we need. Number six. <clears throat> I like that. GG. Sure. But you might know this because it's about a Japanese ship. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, which one are we on? Number five? We're, We're just trying to get four. anything now. Do, do we have number seven yet? No. No, we have not got number seven yet. And they all have repeating words in them. Okay, are there any uh, war movies that have the name of a Japanese ship in it? Wasn't there a play 
that was a movie and it was oh hold on a second let me think it was two words they repeated each other Vic, not Victor Victoria, but Victor Victor. I think. Victor Victor wasn't there a movie called Victor, Victor, Victor Victoria. Victor, Victor Victoria was, was a musical. Oh yeah, maybe. yeah. it's about a, well, a, a woman, woman in drag pretending to be a, to be a man, man who is yeah. really in a woman. In, yeah, in drag. yeah. Because I don't, I don't Victor Victoria. Know this one going, and this one we don't know. But wasn't there one that was called? It was like Victor Victoria. I think it started with a V. <clears throat> Like Victor Victor or something. What about Bye Bye Something? Oh, bye, bye, like bye, 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 bye Bye Birdie. Bye Bye Black Sheep. Bye Bye Black Goodbye. Is it Bye Bye Birdie or Goodbye Birdie? Bye Birdie. I don't even know what the. Which it, one? That was an Anne Margaret movie. Yeah, that's Four, six, seven. We got Liar Liar. So which ones don't we have? We don't have seven. Six four. Oh, and number one. <laughs> we did we know the first one. So what's maybe, maybe four? Four we don't have. That's the 1958 action war drama, a US sub commander obsessed with sync. We got the theme though, Carl. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. but that's not helping us with this. What's no, the theme? Re repeating double words. Double words. Yeah, and we, we know words. that number one is a sequel to Blackula, but we don't know the name. We don't no. know. Coco. Well, I'm putting Black. down Blackula, Blackula. <laughs> how, about, how about Coco? Oh, here comes Richard Saunders. Richard. Let me put him in the team. You are team? No. <laughs> I'm in the team that has the lowest score. He's not going on this team that got, a, what, 12 last time? No. We had no, 10 out of 12. 10 out of 12. Oh, yeah, there were two. Sorry. I did that. So we don't have four either, huh? Mm -hmm. Coco? No, we're not ringing a bell. Yeah, there's a Pixar movie called Coco, but yeah. it would not fit any of these. Of <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's a there's a Disney film. Oh, and then there's this <laughs> number. Well, the bonus we haven't looked at either. I forgot about the bonus. Yeah, the bonus. <laughs> Three go go dancers. In go go, <laughs> get it? Go go. So I bet it's in the it's in the title. Go go's the number eleven. Or is yeah. that what you're talking about? Yeah. There's yeah, a movie called it. Girls, Girls, Girls. Well, let's do that one. I like that because it's three girls. I like it. it good? Very good. Yeah. I've no. I don't know. I've never seen it. Jane's gonna be the ringer. Maybe I've never seen it against Carl for some. Hey, but it's better months. than not writing anything, right? I think that's a good. <laughs> I think because it's about three women, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and it sounds <laughs> exploitive. Yep. It's very <laughs> calling them girls. Yeah. Um, Coco Chanel didn't have any. There's no. She wasn't. No. I'm feeling it. How about Black Blackula? I actually yeah, don't know. Right yeah, love, <laughs> love, 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 I'm thinking love. of, you know, we had aliens. We had aliens. Uh, it's going to be know, alien, alien. Uh, yeah, Blackula. <laughs> Choo-choo, like a Blackula, train. Blackula, Blackula, be like no. Blackula 2.0. You know what? That doesn't repeat. repeat the word. Repeat also, the word. They didn't say 2.0 oh. back then. Are, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, we're sure now. That yeah, this what? is a sure. sequel. Sure. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. it says it's a, it's, I think it said it's a sequel. Yeah. It's a horror sequel. Says it, it says it yeah. And it has to have repeating words. Two, yeah. two. Like black, black idea. I see well, then it's, it's got to be black, yellow, black, yellow, doesn't it? Oh, black black yeah. Exactly. yeah. I'm making it up, you guys. I don't know. I've never heard of it. I think it's again a good like toot toot. Better goes than the engine. Ring <laughs> ring ring goes a bell. Na, 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 na. Um, for COVID. Only day one. 
Yeah, I'm about 24 hours in now. Yeah. I feel so much better. Um, Jimmy, Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy? I don't know. I'm making it up. I'm just Are you making up movie up. titles? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Of I'm just throwing it out there because I'm a guest in your room. I will be gone next round and hoping that maybe you'll go, oh, well, Jimmy, Jimmy. Yeah, of course. I know that. I watched it in high school. And I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I think six might have love, some love, love, something. Love, shop. Love. Love to love you, baby. Love to. I do remember, you know, when you said that thing about petticoat. I know there's one that's pink petticoats, but I think this is. I I'm think the Connie Stevens. word is love. I'm seeing Connie Stevens. I don't know. Do you remember? See? Remember the 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 Russian sailors and the girls on the beach. It's not pink petticoats because pink petticoats, the girls replace the guys on the ship or something. But this is yes. This yes. is love. This is where the the Russians and the American girls on the beach. And I think since it's repeating words, it's love, love, something. Let's write down love, love. Something. Something, <laughs> yes. Love, love, something. You know, when we hear it, we're just gonna go, oh yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> well. To not have anything, let's do love, love, Lulu. love, love, love to love or something. Love to la -la. There's love a la la one you? from Hollywood, wasn't there? No, but that's not. That's la la, la, -la. Land. Yeah, that was a right. Yeah. Piece of yeah, that should have been on here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, there, there's only room for so many. <laughs> well, yes, but they should have been the ones that we know, Carl. Yeah, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> this is your team after all. I don't really? you know, well I, ha I haven't seen La La Land so well, it's I, didn't, awesome. I didn't use anything I haven't seen you're talking about Luke, no, Luke, I resisted Luke. I resisted watching it and then I I did watch it you're talking about the Hollywood and one? it was really it was really really good it was like cinematic oh. it was like a it was directorially it was very very good it was I, yeah I didn't impressive. see that one uh Luke, I was thinking the other one that Hollywood one that was the Manson killing one, uh, Hollywood. Oh yeah, I didn't. I, I, I never hated saw that movie. That I was never awful. Yeah. The Once Upon a Time. Yeah, that was so awful. Yeah. It was I nothing know. like what it was like, and they kind of they kind of made it like glorified, you know. Yeah, I. Yeah. If you're watching a Tarantino film and you're complaining about that's what it, what it was actually like, you're 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 missing the point of Tarantino films. They're never historically accurate. They're well, intentionally was, historically just, inaccurate. They're alternative history. They could have made it better. Tarantino? Oh. And Glorious Bastards? I, I'm a huge Anything Tarantino. he does that's historical is always alternative history. Yeah. Okay, I got to blow my nose. Well. So, how, you guys have answers for everything? No. 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 How, how's our, will, will any amount of time help solve that problem? Um, if we had time no. to go watch movies. Because <laughs> I'm contemplating triggering the two minute warning. Well, How are the other teams doing, Carl? Um, probably better than you. <laughs> oh, uh, no. a, lot of teams, a lot of teams started out really rough, but began narrowing in. And I think there's a lot of really high scores now. At oh, least one perfect score, if not more, if not multiple tens. Good. Oh, they'll beat this team. They'll change their answers before. <laughs> I think he should sabotage his team so you guys don't do well. I would never do that. I wouldn't do that. See, the thing is, is Jane, that any team that Carl's on almost always wins. He just has a, like a photogenic memory. So we tease the heck out of him. He's a good friend, but we tease the heck out of him. <laughs> Because he just doesn't seem to not know something. Yeah. He doesn't know it. He I know. It out. You know, so last week, last week though, I argued with him on one because I had done that category already and I'd asked oh, that first ladies. And yes, I had already done it. 
and I remembered it. And it wasn't because it wasn't that long ago. But he was right. And I was right. Oh, I hate it. Choo choo. Choo choo train. Charlie the choo choo train. No. Choo 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 choo. Um, Lulu? Lala? Meow meow. Which one do you want to put Lala down for? I don't know. I don't know if oh. it means anything. The. Oh. What's I'm seven? Yeah. Wait, what are you, you're, what do you, what answer are you? We're making up double words <laughs> calling them in where, where we don't know right? anything. It'd have to be seven. Number seven, what did you want to put? Mama. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> La La Land. That's not the, he even told us that he didn't use La La Land. Well, <laughs> well we didn't we, say La La Land. We just said <laughs> La La La. Ring 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 goes the ring ring goes the bell oh. ring ring. Is there, is there a movie has anything it's called ring ring? Something like that. Uh, the goes the trolley. Yeah. How about a Soviet ring submarine? Ring ring. Ring ring, <laughs> ring, ring submarine. I'm putting ring ring submarine. <laughs> ring ring <laughs> submarine. Good job, team. Oh, that was hurt. That hurt. Richard welcome, Saunders, welcome all the way from Australia. Hello, yes. Richard Saunders, where are you? Hey, Richard, where is he? Richard Saunders for the win because the he Australia. helped us get the some of the remaining ones we didn't know. Well, well, I didn't hear what you said. I didn't hear what you said. Honey. Knowledge. Kevin, mute American. yourself. Mute yourself, Kevin. What are you talking about, Kevin? Kevin, mute one yourself. One Not listen. Hi, Adrian. Thank you. I got him. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Hi, Susan. Hi. No, one's allowed to, no one's allowed to talk to me while I'm playing trivia. That's, That's how you do that. <laughs> Nobody not playing trivia is allowed to talk to you? All right. Go ahead, Carl. Take us out of our misery. Oh, here Nobody, comes Deborah. Where did Deborah go? She Wait, must have gone out. All okay. right. Can you all play it on us? Oh, we got a we got a slideshow. Wow. I, I, I will paste the answers into chat when I'm done. But number one is Scream Blackula Scream. Oh, oh. oh. Well, so will you close. take so Die Blackula Die? No. It's pretty close. Kill Blackula Kill. <laughs> I like how we all have very how about black blackula? Dang it. Yeah. I like I like my title best because clearly the people who wanted to kill him didn't just want him to scream. They want them to die. Number two is it's a mad, 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 mad world. And you must have four and only uh -oh. four mads. Uh -oh. We had four. Now, less Good job, than Peggy. Four or more than four mads, I actually you're said in trouble. I think our team had five. So. Uh oh. <laughs> Number we three. We just kept saying it over and over again until never we never say never again. Yeah. Uh, there was a very, Thank very you, slight Richard. hint that I did not put the year in there. The, so. the, the FBI slipped an extra mad into our answer. Uh, right. <laughs> if it worked for the theme, if it yes, worked for the Leonard. theme, Thunderball would also work, but Thunderball doesn't fit the theme. Yeah. Right. Run silent, run mm -hmm. deep for number four. No. Number Look five. At that Tora, Tora, Tora. An excellent, yep. excellent film. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Six. The Russians are coming. The Russians are coming. Oh, oh there it is. That's it. That, there it is. <laughs> Look at that woman. <laughs> oh wait. Uh, what? Whatever could you be talking about? That's not even short. She is. She's so short. <laughs> yeah. Do we have to? Do we have to have our R backwards for it to count? No. Okay. Good. <laughs> Six girls, girls, girls. No, but girls. you needed to write the G with the hand and sickle. Oh. And punctuation does not matter in this round. Just there the were two girls there, by the way. Oh, I think eight is you... chitty chitty bang bang. Of course, probably everybody got that. Two four, two four. Number nine, Boeing, Boeing. Yay! Oh. Oh. Boeing. Look how old they are. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10 is Liar Liar. Yay, Gail. And the last one, 11, 
Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> good lord. Who got more kills? Who got more kills? What's going on with these women? If you have more than two kills, you don't get it. What's up with these women's clothing? Classic exploitation film. Russ Meyer. Look at that. It was Russ Meyer. We thought it was Bikini A Go Go because it had Go Go dancers. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. We should. That was anyway. Okay, so the scores. Let me go over to screenshot. Eight. Okay, so the Weisselberg roll. Eight. Wow. All right, good job. The FBI stole their high scores and planted low ones. 10. 11. Wow. No, no 10. Oh, no count. Stop. 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 All right, the deep state got to Caspian's phone. Six. One, two, three, four. Five. COVID free mm. for now. Nine. Nine. 11. Eight, the FBI 11. took Trump's retirement fund. It's also the team that had Kyle, Carl. Six. Because it didn't have Carl. <laughs> I I have that we got um, eight. You all need, Gail, you all need you to got, watch more crappy movies. Gail, you got nine. Well, we we missed two questions, but we got the bonus. Susan, did you type in the last number? It's not showing. Yeah, no. I I'm waiting. We missed three. I'm waiting for the FBI took Trump's retirement fund. Not, not according to what I have. <coughs> Blackula. We didn't get Blackula. Right. Six right here. Six. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we didn't get five. Four. We didn't get. We're on a. We have another tie for four and nine. Eight. One, four, and nine. Right. One. We didn't we get four. We, yeah, we got, got four. four. Run silent, run deep. We had that. We one. got four. Oh, Leonard, yay! Leonard, Leonard came up with that. So I got the scores right. The only yeah. two, yeah, they're right. The only two we missed were were um, one and um, and nine. Tony Curtis and Blackula. Got it. Thanks. Okay. So, and, and as always, I have put the uh, questions and answers uh, documents in the chat for anyone who cares to download them. Okay. Thank, thank, thank you. Carl. So yeah. let's do our screenshot picture so everybody look your finest. Your bestest. This bestest is as good ever. as <laughs> I want to see shiny, happy faces. Shiny, happy people. Mm. No, nobody's buying it, huh? Okay, we're shining. I'm looking for sniff, sniff. <coughs> I have no makeup on. Okay, hold on. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, let me see if I got it. Hey, I don't look like I'm so sick. You're a natural beauty. You, you actually look really, really pretty tonight. Oh, thank you. I have no makeup on. <laughs> yeah, what happened? Fever. Oh, well. Okay. So okay. today is uh, August. So you got it. We can. Yeah. I need to go put the chickens in. Okay, okay. August. Doing the break. Five minutes. I'm still recording, right. so be careful what you say. Yeah, I may be back I a few minutes pee. later. Sorry, team. It's not pee related at all. Okay. <laughs> I will be right, all right back. Thanks for a great evening, everyone. Thanks, I'm Brian. Awesome. Thanks Good to see you, Brian. Nice to see you. Hi, Brian. Thanks. Nice to see you, Leonard, and I'm everyone. Sure. Thanks for my best first two rounds ever, you guys. <laughs> oh, it's all downhill now. <laughs> no, it'll get better from here, probably. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Can anybody hear me? Yes. Yeah. I don't know why the, in the small group, nobody could hear me. Oh. Do, do, we, do, 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 we, do. We hear you now. Okay, good. Thanks. Or at least we're claiming to. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You're humming the Twilight Zone, so. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, we could have been picking it up telepathically. Mm. No doubt. Yeah, I, I actually, I, I do that. doubt that. I'd better guess. That. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I should get up, but I have a cat on my lap. <laughs> she just jumped up two minutes ago. Mine get the privilege of getting back in my lap after I get up. Mine doesn't usually do this. If I'm sitting in a, ch uh, a lounge chair with, with a room, she'll get right next to me and even like try to get on my arm, which is on my side, and she'll sleep there. That's okay. But if I pick her up and put her on my lap, she'll jump off. So this is odd that she jumped up on my lap here. <laughs> Did anyone watch my uh, some my ice cream? I'll be right back. Anyone watch my interview with Pastor Nack yet? Came to say no. No, no. no. They published it today, which was kind of nice because we talked a lot about the Sunday papers for SciCon. And I, I didn't think there was a way at all we were going to get this out before the deadline to submit a proposal for the Sunday papers. But it turns out there's three days left. So I actually had them change the text of what I wrote in the article at the last minute. Make sure anyone who reads it, like right up front, knows that. So what I found out when I was uh, preparing to talk with her is that I knew I had spoken, of course, twice at SciCon in a row, and I didn't think anyone else had, but she had also. So as far as I know, there's just two of us, and it was the same two years. We were both Sunday paper speakers, the same years and two years sequentially. Is that your cat purring, Rob? It is. Oh, wow. Very content. Nine pound cat and she purrs like she's a 2,500 pound giant. <laughs> and also her meow is piercing and loud. The other cat is almost double her weight and goes, meow, meow, yeah. and this one goes, meow. <laughs> Don't know where it's coming from. And it looks just like Carl's cat and Richard's cat. And one of Susan's cat. cats. Cat tail, cat tail. Which cat, the black one or the black and white? Black and white, tuxedo. Yeah. Also looks a lot like the first and only cat ever launched into space that survived. Which I know because I wrote the Wikipedia article. Felicitat. Poor little thing. Is that one of those Wikipedia articles that, that's actually correct? <laughs> yeah, reasonably. It was it was a funny one. My, so my wife gets a has a had a subscription. To, I think they've changed the name three times since, but it was called Cat Fancy four four years ago or so. And, you know, all about cats, cat stories, things about cats, whatever. It's, it and still she goes, is. And she, okay, and she goes, "Did you know there's a cat that was launched into space?" I go, no, <laughs> that never happened. And so she reads the story, and it was actually about. Uh, it was by the French and basically it got no airplay because we were launching uh, monkeys and the Soviets were launching uh, dogs. So no one cared about the one time they launched a cat. Um, both both Laka, the, the dog and, and uh, Ham, the chimp, they have um, little statues to them, memorials. And uh, there was nothing for the cat, Felicitat. So the story in Cat Fancy was there was a Kickstarter program to make a, um, a memorial. So, so I actually wrote wrote the article and uh, added that information for sure. So. Oh yeah, Jane. There's a lot of people here who are GSW editors. Just by default, they got worn down until they had to join. <laughs> Is that true? Did I make that up? Not at all. Not at all. Let me see. Oh we my! You probably goodness. find it in a Wikipedia article. <laughs> So, so here's the disappointing thing. So this is why I asked about if anyone had read the article I published today about Natalia Pasternak. So she, I, I said, hey, Natalia, it's published. Hey, it's and, here. Like, and she goes, 
they have my name wrong. I don't have that little line over my A. <laughs> Holy crap because that's the way it is in Wikipedia. It's the name of the article and it's in every reference to Natalia in it. And Susan, which I did some looking before I uh, interviewed her for who else had interviewed her and what they asked. Susan's article published about Susan and Carlos are coming to Psycon, have it that way. I probably copied so, it from the Wikipedia. Well, no, I'm I sure you... copied it from the Wikipedia page. There was no, no Wikipedia so, page. No, that's right. It was written after. So I don't know how that happened, but now that's in Wikipedia. So now we have to kind of prove it's not that way, right? So it's a little awkward. Well, we should be able to go to her bio or something and just use it that way. Right. So that, that's what I told, uh, I, I posted in the cabal. I said, hey, just use as a citation on the talk page, any article she's published or the book she's published. You know, it doesn't have that letter on it. That What do you call that? It's not an umlaut, is it? It's an, it's an accent. Yeah, so it does not have that. Well, Rob, did, you, did, you correct, did you correct did you correct Neil deGrasse Tyson's thing? He said immediately when you introduced introduced him that you must have gotten the information from Wikipedia because that's one thing it got it wrong. That I did correct, yes. Well, we had somebody correct it, right? I don't think Rob corrected it, right? But he's he's he couldn't he said he couldn't correct it himself and it was bothering him. And he said he knew immediately where he got <laughs> the information because it right. was on right. Wikipedia. Right. All right, yes, we're back yes. from our break. Yes, so I posted that in the cabal and somebody changed that almost immediately, yeah. And, and Natalia's Wikipedia page has been changed now. Good, yeah. okay. It has? I'm looking at it, it's still so, on the title. So the, yeah, I posted that, that has to be changed. That's more complicated than doing all the references to the name in the article, yeah, but yeah. Well, I'll have to get the yeah, name. The, the title's have, still wrong. Yeah, the title is more difficult to change. You have to do an yeah. official move and there's a little bit of a... It's more difficult to do that than it is to just go in and change the spelling. So anyway, we know about it. Someone's going to do it. Okay, so we are back from our break because I'm back. <laughs> so it's been five minutes. Um, Richard Saunders here somewhere. There he is. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello Richard. Hello. Good day. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Governor. <laughs> well, I do, well, I do it as a cottony then. Right, coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast this week for all you geezers out there. No, I won't do that. Um, so that was good. Did. That was good. God, that was good. Cry Cry Bloody hell. Crikey. <laughs> uh, we Crikey. have a story. We have a report uh, from Maynard, which he will do tomorrow. Maynard and I and our friend Ian Bryce from Australian Skeptics are performing our mystery investigator show after two and a half years hiatus because of COVID Ooh. at a public science day here in Sydney. So we're looking forward to that. Yay. Also, I report on the last Mind Body Wallet Festival, as uh, written in the pages of the Skeptic magazine. The book of Tim this week of Tim Mendham looks at micro nations. These are the tiny little nations people set up to try and secede from various countries. The Trove segment this, look, uh, this week looks into the mysterious Min Min light of Outback Australia. And we have another skeptical poem by Jim Wilshire all about the Min Min light. All that and more coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast at skepticzone.tv. Very good. I'm really enjoying those poems. Yeah, he's he was, you know, he wrote thousands of them. He, he, he just wrote so many poems and he concentrated very carefully on each poem. In fact, somewhere here, I've got a whole DVD that we made together of his poetry. Oh, um, the last yeah. one I heard was about the pet psychics. That was hysterical. Hang on. Yeah, about 16 years ago, I went to his farm and we, we made this DVD where he, and that, that's him reading out some of his poems by the firelight. Oh, that's nice. That, that would have been wonderful. One. Oh, it was, it was. And I'll I'm just con it, huh? considering okay. doing, you know, maybe, I guess it's up to me now because he's no longer around. Maybe I'll, I'll put them up online on YouTube for, so people can enjoy them. I'll see. Really good anyway, idea. so... That's coming up. Oh, I hope that those people who listened to the last episode enjoyed the Trove segment about Ray Hyman. I thought that was a good segment. Yes. I'm behind a week. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, I was traveling. Yeah. We, we, were, we were up in Oregon with Ray. We were, we were hanging out with Ray Hyman. Oh, cool. Then you can hear, hear the uh, newspaper reports about him. There you go. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah, that would be really good. Okay. So uh, since Kyle's not back, uh rob was saying that he's got two more interviews out 
Well, yeah, let me post a link for the last one. So I actually made Natalia blush. So that was really cool. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I don't know if people know the story about her being compared in Brazil to Jennifer Lawrence and don't look up. So yeah, I showed I showed uh, oh, I showed a meme. She's an amazing person. Yeah, actually, and since we're at, uh, if you look at my column, if uh, since we played last, I actually had, God, I think I might have been three since the last time, uh, maybe, or at least two. Naomi or Oreskes, and also um, Joseph. Uzinski. And... Oh, I interviewed him for Psycon a few years ago, but a written interview. I haven't really listened like to that. I'm behind. What? Uh, who? Who do you have next? Or you have anybody else next? Polidoro. Actually, I I was halfway through, well, not even quite, maybe a third of the way through an interview with him, and then my uh, just much like when we began the game today, my internet went wonky, and we had to uh, schedule a second set. <laughs> Bosmo, the better of the two. <clears throat> Are you gonna interview Davy? Randy's husband. So I only have one person past Massimo planned, and then I have to ask Barry how long, how many does he want me to do? Because we're getting Until October. Um, we're getting closer and closer. So we'll see. We'll see. I haven't checked to see what this, what uh, how many people have registered, but he the last time I checked with him for Psychon, it was um, like you know eight people off what they were on the same day. Oh, that's not bad. That's so, better than yeah, I thought, was, considering like, the pandemic is still here. Okay, yeah. so I yeah, don't have anything. I've got all of the videos of from the Skeptic Camp from Eugene. I've got them started. I could probably upload them. Uh, Janine wants to ask permission or something from people before I post them. But they're, I, I mean, I, I've got a template made now. I could just zoom through the videos, I think, and get those all saved. I've got one done. Um, but it, the longest part is, is creating a... Um, intro and so i did that it's not it's nothing amazing but then again video is not my thing i'm just quick and so i did seattle that was great came home with covid small group up there but boy let me tell you they're really motivated to want to do something have nice long conversations about how they want to be they're tired of being a group of old white men and <laughs> there's not much they can do about that <laughs> so they're all going to be they trans can. now they don't yeah. want to be just an old yeah. white man they're like we really are aware of this problem and what can we do about it so we had a nice long conversation <laughs> with them about reincarnation how to, reincarnation not them but to bring people in who are not so that the demographics isn't just you know that so Kyle's back. Kyle, what you got coming up on the Data podcast, Data Skeptic podcast? Yeah, thank you for waiting. This week on Data Skeptic, we talked to a researcher who studies online advertising specifically on how they spread your budget out. Because you could imagine if you were a business and you have money to spend on online ads, you don't want it to be all gone by 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. So what's the future of traffic throughout the day and challenges like that are some of the things we discussed this week on Data Skeptic. Very good. Okay. All right. I think that's it, right? Okay, Gail. Uh -huh. My dear, I believe you are next. I am. I well, believe. We've got something interesting for us. Let's hope it's... It's going to be very different from what we've been seeing so far. Thank today. you. Thank you. And hopefully it doesn't <laughs> deal with time travel or movies. Uh, nothing to do with either of those. Oh, it's going to be a history, a straightforward history. Oh. In particular, it's going to be medieval history. Um, the topic is medieval Europe, and I started with an introductory paragraph just so we all know what we're talking about. Medieval comes from the Latin Middle Age, and it's generally considered to include the period from the fall of the Roman Empire to the Renaissance. That is from approximately the 5th century to the 15th century, so it covers a huge time period. Um, what it's called is a huge controversial issue, Excuse and me. many of you have heard it called the Dark Ages. And just parenthetically, I thought it was a, a very interesting when I was researching this to discover that the Dark Ages was invented by a Renaissance author who wanted to talk about how terrible things were then. Modern historians don't think it was so all fire dark and terrible. So since people are continuing to call it the Dark Ages, they've now decided that the reason it was called the Dark Ages, this is revisionist history, but the reason it was called the Dark Ages was because 
most people were illiterate, so there isn't a lot of data to support the things that we're about to talk about. <laughs> it was okay. dark, right? <laughs> That's really great. Okay, uh, Vincent, can you take care of us? Three, two, one. You have to unmute yourself. Oh, I'm mute. I know. Yeah. Um, the first, the questions will vary tremendously from historical to cultural. Who was the last of the Anglo-Saxon kings who was defeated by William the Conqueror in 1066? Question two is multiple choice. And What was the justification given by William for his invasion of England? A, as the legitimate son of the previous ruler, he was entitled to the throne. B, he had been promised the succession by Edward the Confessor, who died childless, and the earls had given their pledge to support him. C, he was a direct descendant of the Vikings who had earlier invaded and settled in England. Or D, there wasn't one. He wanted it and correctly believed he could win and make England a part of Normandy. Okay. And the next one is a true and false. Upper class of fashionable shoes had extended pointed toes that eventually became so long that nobles had to tie the toes to their leggings in order to walk. Number four. Oops. Magna Carta is recognized as a key milestone in the development of English law. What English king agreed to it? Do Not we need terms. do we need the number or just the name? Uh, no, when it's a king, you need a number because there were too many of them with the same name. Damn. Darn. Darn. <laughs> Good one. Okay. Number five is also a, um, a multiple choice. Which of the following foods would not be highly prized at a royal banquet? So three of them would be, one would not. A, roasted swan in entrail sauce. B, roast beef with Mornay sauce. C, peacock roasted and with its feathers rearranged for service. Or D, blackbird pie perhaps with living birds inside that flew out when the pie was cut. Okay, number six. And there probably is more than one possible answer to number six, so let me point out what we're getting at here. There is a children's game that is still played today that most scholars believe actually referred to the Black Death because it ends with, we all fall down. What other words in the game suggest a reference specifically to bubonic plague, okay? So not just a death, but there are plenty of words that suggest some kind of plague, but what one particularly means that they're talking about bubonic plague? Okay, question seven. Who was crowned Holy Roman Empire by Emperor by Pope Leo III in 800 CE? Okay, number eight. As the crown king, William, this is William the Conqueror again, conducted an extensive survey of his land holdings and their value. While it's not exactly clear why it was done, 
Most historians agree that it made a record of feudal obligations and taxes. What is the title of this famous book? Number nine, another true and false. True or false, William built many castles during his reign. Most were simple earth and timber structures that were later replaced or destroyed. But the White Tower still stands as a central part of the Tower of London. Number 10. These laws, that's the question's about, these laws made every person's position in the social hierarchy immediately visible. For example, the law permitted only the nobility to wear ermine fur, silk, velvet, and brocade. What was the name, generic name given to those kinds of laws? And there is a bonus, and it's quite lengthy because you need to understand it. What you're going to be doing is filling in the blank in this story. When Henry I died, his only legitimate living child was Matilda, since his son Robert had drowned in the white ship disaster of 1120. He named her as his heir and forced the nobility, the nobility to swear allegiance to her. She was a woman and had spent little time in England, so Henry's nephew Stephen seized the crown. She refused to concede, and the anarchy a civil war resulted. It went on for years, and in the end, neither could gain enough support to win decisively. Reluctantly, Stephen agreed to a peace treaty that made blank the first Plantagenet king. So everything in there is a true statement, and what I want you to do is fill in the Plantagenet king. I'm officially, okay. hand, I'm officially handing back to you the trophy for the longest questions, Gail. <laughs> oh, I think I, I think you. No, won no, no. I I've think no. I've seen longer. That was a good, that was just really the only one that was long. Okay, good I job. Think so. Are we going? Yeah. Somebody send us away. I'll send people to where they need to go. Deborah's got to go to four. Everybody else, okay. I'm Thank going. you. Hello, team. <laughs> we could use Caspian. We could use oh, Caspian. Oh, oh, I was boy. just going to say, I want to oh, be on Caspian's team. Boy, is this a problem? Or or Paula? <laughs> I I love British history, but this is just a little too early for me. I'm a little yeah, there was one that I think I know and I can't remember no, which one. Two. Okay, so do oh, Magna Carta, I, I think it was Charles, but I think it was Charles the first. I didn't hear them all, but I, I too saw heard two, I think I know. But I think I think Magna Carta, the number four is Charles, and I think it's Charles the first. But I'm not I I'm not hundred percent sure. What which ones do you think you know, Karen? Um, sorry, I don't know the numbers about the Ring Around the Rosies and yeah. the uh, sumptuary loss. Okay, I know the Ring Around the Rosie. Let's just double check. Is it the um, same ashes? Rash? Ashes. No, it's a no, Ring it's Around the Rosie. Rosie, because you had the rash. It's, yeah, it's rash. Ring Around the Rosie. The Rosie was the rash, Mister right. yeah, yeah. Sprouthead. Well, I think that thing is also an ashes, ashes. ashes. They burned it. They burnt the bodies. So ashes, ashes, we will fall down. But I don't think it was ashes, ashes. I think it was a chew, a chew. We just say <laughs> ashes, ashes. We could just write that whole sentence down, and that'll be ring around the rosy, rock and pull posy. No, actually, when I when I was a kid, we we all sang hasha, hasha. We all fall down, and that's got to be a, a Yiddishism or something. Um, because I it's the only place I'd ever heard it. Well, but she said specifically that it was unique to this plague. So did they did this particular the bubonic plague create the rosy rashes 
Yes. Or did they specifically burn people? I think they burned a lot of people. Yeah, they burned well, a lot. They burned the body. You, you burned the bodies. So, right, but you burned I, the bodies for all nasty diseases. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think know. it's ring around the rosy. I think you're right. I'm just posing the yeah, question. Yeah, it's ring around. It's ring around the rosy. All right. And then actually, all one. all these little nursery rhymes have pretty dark, dark origins. Yeah, um, and then the one about the laws. The some is the question. What are the laws called? Sumptuary clause uh, laws. Is that the sumptuary? question? Sumptuary. How do you spell that? Sumptuary. S U M P T U E or R R A R Y. Oh, you know there. There, are you, there, ain't, there, ain't, there ain't no Sandy Claus. Are you uh, are you writing these down, Susan? No. Oh, okay. well, I am I'll writing write them down, but I do. I'll write them. Okay, what do else. we have? So we got the two that you gave. One, two, three. So 10 is the sumptuary laws. And um, Ring Around the Rosie. Number six is uh, Ring Around the Rosie. And I think uh, Magna Carta, I think is Charles, and I, it's one or two. And I, I, N I number, please. Okay, put down, you can blame me, put down one. I'm number sorry, four. Which, number four is, oh, is number four, Charles, I'm sorry. Is yeah. Charles the first? Yeah. Fine. What was the other one you guys said you had? <clears throat> okay, number one, who was the last? of the Anglo-Saxon kings defeated by William the Conqueror in 1066. Well, that was the Battle of Hastings, right? Yeah. I don't know who they fought. OK, so we don't know that one, but we're Engel, we're... Engelbert. OK, <laughs> what was the no. justification given by William for his invasion? Now, we have a choice here. We have a multiple choice. I think it's D. There wasn't one? Okay. Well, I don't know. I no, just... I think he had some connection. I don't remember. Nothing's ringing a bell to me. Yeah, I, I, but none of the other ones sound right. Okay. Unless, unless maybe B, he had been promised, but. Uh... We're guessing, right? No, I did, I, no. Let's let's go through and put the ones that we're pretty sure we know, and then we can figure and ponder. Now, number three, come on, this is the true false. That's got to be true because where would you come up with something like that if it was false? I've seen drawings like that. <laughs> well, they were all really weird anyway, so that's possible. Let's put true. I mean, okay, I mean, think about how she would have had to write that. <laughs> Okay, Charles I is number four. Number five, it's got to be D. Number four is Charles the first. Okay, that's what that's what Alan says. First or second, but we're going with first. And number five, I know they had Swan, I know they had Peacock, and I know they had. Um, they gotta have had. Roast beef. I don't know about but, Moray sauce. Yeah, Mornay, Mornay sauce is rather defined, uh, refined. It's like a hollandaise or something. So let's, that seems modern ish. So let's go for the more barbaric things. It's also not kosher. Yeah, let's go B. Yeah, that's important. So, I mean, yeah. So you think they had blackbirds with living birds in it? I mean, I can oh, yeah. think that Very weird. cruel, horrible. Imagine. Well, there's a which there's a because there's a I, going back to nurse, there's a nursery rhyme or something. Uh, blackbirds, uh, is it little Jack blackbirds sing, a, sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in, in a pie. pie. When yep. the pie was open, the king began, began to sing. sing. Wasn't that, wasn't a, that a dainty dish to put before, before well, the king? Which, may, which I think is just meant to confuse the issue because it's probably not because it's not that would not literally be a pie. Again, it would be all allegorical. Yeah, how would you make a pie with, well, I don't know. Oh, I think they absolutely well, would do that. They were cruel and thinking about, you know, the way it appeared. Well, and ask not, Mark, he's a magician. He'd know how to do that. I would go with the Mornay sauce, just because that's a pretty refined sauce. 
Okay, yeah. that's fine. That's my so, guess. So uh, we've got the next one already. We've got that. So who next found Holy Roman Emperor by Pope Leo the Third in 800 CE? That's not Constantine, is it? Constantine, Constantine was hundreds of years earlier. He was like earlier 300, 350, earlier. like 350, I thought. Was he really? Yeah. That, that far yeah. back? Isn't okay. that when they had the big thing where they were trying to decide if Jesus was um, divine or not? And a third of the people said yes, and a third said no, and a third, whatever, we're going to walk away. And Constantine yeah, I mean, said, it's the, just it's figure the whole... it out. <laughs> well, his, mo his mother talked him into it. Yeah, and that was that was hundreds of years earlier. Okay, all right. I, I, around three fifty. Yeah. Um. Holy. Ro well, name a name a Holy Roman Emperor. Any Holy Roman Emperor. Gregory. Um, Gregory. Gregory. Yeah, there's a, there were a bunch of Gregories too. There was a bunch of Pope Gregories. Yeah, that's what. Well, Holy. Oh, I guess we're looking at something different other than the Pope. Uh, holy Roman. he was crowned by the Pope. Uh, that's right. Okay. Um, what was his name? Uh, damn it. No, <sighs> King Damn it. <laughs> holy Roman Emperor, damn it. <laughs> Napoleon. All right. Uh, Charlemagne. Oh. That's the big Holy Roman Emperor. That makes sense. Emperor. That's, that's, yeah, I think that's, and that's about the right, and it's about the right time. Yeah. Okay, number eight is the what about the book? What is the title of the famous book that most historian most historians agree was a record of feudal obligations and taxes, which William conducted an extensive survey of his land holdings and their value. What was the title of a famous book? When she says it, it'll make sense. I sorry, ring the bell. Okay, question nine, true or false. William built many castles during his reign. Most were simple earth and timber structures. That later were replaced or destroyed, but the White Tower still stands as a central part of the Tower of London. I've been there. I don't know. Well, it still stands, but did he do that? No idea. They have ravens there. I remember that. <laughs> Well, that's where the uh, crown jewels are. Yeah, it's also where the the boys, the young kings, were killed. Stuff behind the walls or something like that. Who do we have for number one? Nobody. Is that Harold the second? Could be. In in the Battle of Hastings, as depicted in the Bayou Tapestry. Harold the second. That sounds like a Disney movie or something. Harold the <laughs> Second and his wacky reign. Oh. Hey, oh, by the way, with um, with uh, what's his name? With uh, where was Charlemagne? No, no. Which 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 was the one? Uh, God damn it! Um, the Anglo-Saxon. That was not. Uh, uh, Hadrian, was it? Which one? Uh, I'm sorry. No, uh, uh, the one that was the, who was defeated by William the Conqueror. Remember, there's Hadrian's Wall. Right. Um, no, that's the one that I was just talking about. Which, which, for which number? Number what? one. Oh, you were. Yeah. I and mean, did you say Hadrian? Harold. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. I, I I'm just wondering if there was Hadrian, if it was Hadrian. Hadrian seems like that was Roman. Was, was Roman. That'd no, where Hadrian is Hadrian's wall is up in northern northern uh, northern England, I thought. Yeah, but it was built by the Romans. 
There is a Hadrian's uh, it, Wall. It's a, th a thousand years before this. Was that well, okay? All right. Yeah, Hadrian Hadrian's Wall is a Roman right, then, 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 structure. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on number nine. True or false? Let me read uh, it. You know what? There's, can the White Tower really be that old? I, I, I just find the likelihood that he would have made some, something so different that from what he what she's saying he was making, you know. No, but this is in the in the capital. I mean, it's, it's fine, but is it was it that old? I don't know. What number is that? Nine. And the first it was not built Danic by King. Henry. It was not built by Henry the Eighth, was it? Could it have been by Hill, uh, no. the, the the tower? No, he was already. It was already there. It was. I mean, it was already. Uh, Henry the Eighth didn't do anything with the tower except put his wives in there right before he executed them. Yeah, which which uh, doesn't add to its building. No, just the ghosts. <clears throat> Okay, so one, well, let's look at the, the doohickeys again. Let me pull them up on the side here. So for one, we have Harold II. For two, we guessed D, that he had no reason. He had no good reason. Um, three, we guessed true. Four, we guessed Charles I. We were kind of thinking maybe the second, but we settled on one because we're not sure. Uh, Five, we put B, roast beef with the Mornay sauce, because the others seemed coarser and more extravagant. And I pushed for that because I thought the Mornay was a very refined sauce. And six, the children's game, we agreed on Rosie, ring around the Rosie. Alan was going for ashes, ashes. We, we outvoted him. Yeah, so no, we'll that's fine. The, the, the rose is Rosie. Uh, okay. We'll apologize if we're wrong. And no. then seven, we guessed Gregory. No, we said Charlemagne. 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 So I, oh, I put it Charlemagne for eight. Okay. So seven, we put Charlemagne. And what do we put? For eight seven? is the famous book. Oh, the book. William conducted his episode language. The feudal, well, there is a thing called a feudal Feudal relief, but it's got the word feudal in there. That's not it. I don't know. Anybody know? No. No, but I, I bet you that it's uh, not widely rec recognized as a famous book. Uh, I'm not sure because I, I'm almost sure that I, I, I learned that in high school. I don't remember the name. So, yeah, I think it actually will be something familiar. I'm okay. sure that when we hear it, we're going to go... Okay, so then, um, so then ten. So that's blank for now. Nine is blank. Ten. So that's B eight. Is, that's eight. That's eight. Sorry, eight is blank. And then, and nine then, is no, the is the Tower of London, the center, the White Tower. Are we saying true or false on that? We said the previous one was true, right? Correct. So let's make this one false. Okay, great. <laughs> and then, and then I'm I like saying, your logic. And then I'm saying that it's uh, the sumptuary, sumptuary laws. Good so for if you. Wrong, if we're wrong on that, it's on me. You got it. I have a question for you. You have this, to beat yourself with your hat. Is this this uh, this is the same time around Henry the Eighth or late sooner or later? What? Henry is way earlier. Way earlier. Okay, but they were around then. They were around because that's where I think I heard it with regard to uh, Henry. Okay, we okay. better do the bonus because we're gonna need it. Okay, people, what's the bonus? When Henry di the first died, his only legitimate living child was Matilda, since his son Robert had drowned in the White Ship disaster of 1120. He named her as his heir and forced the nobility to swear allegiance to her. She was a woman and had spent little time in England, so Henry's nephew Stephen seized the crown. 
She refused to concede and the anarchy of civil war resulted. It went on for years and in the end, neither could gain enough support to win decisively. Reluctantly, Stephen agreed to a peace treaty that made blank the first plantagenet net king. Okay. The king, what's his name? What's his number? King Donald. <laughs> oh God, that's a horrible thought. Henry Henry the first King Stephen no Henry the second no George Charles why not make it Henry the second Henry good the guess second. okay because it shouldn't it shouldn't be the first because that sounds two. wrong well because the beginning of the question is Henry, Henry two well, then we go back. We do have one more to guess, right? The book. Yeah, the book. Land D. Number eight. Um, the, the, the Record of Feudal Obligations and Taxes. There you go. There you go. All right. Great job, people. No, that's that. Be an engineer, not a history major. And he was mad at me for doing that. I took the B. I didn't care. Mm. All right, Gail, put us out of our misery. We can't really? all have Caspian on our team, so. Well, yeah, obviously that team is going to do well, but I think most of you did better than you think you did. Did, so. did you have him on your team there, Gail? No. Oh, so you should have waited <laughs> until he was on your team before you unleashed this category. <laughs> well, I, I didn't. I, I had the category before they. I know. You could have wrote another one, though. <laughs> I, I think do I should actually write have one another everybody. one. So written, I could have done that, but I didn't. Yeah. yeah. No okay. Um, who, who was the last of the Anglo-Saxon kings? I will put all of them in the chat after I'm finished, but let me just read the answers first. The last of the Harold was Harold. Harold Godwinson is his full name, but Harold is sufficient for that one. Okay, number Yay. two, the justification given by William. The correct answer to that is B. He oh. had been promised the succession by Edward the Confessor, who died childless, and the earls gave his pledge to support him and then didn't. And they gave it to, to, to uh, that's a bonus question, comes from where that is. That's what started yeah. that civil war. Sorry, uh, Richard, we should have went with uh, your thoughts on that one. Number three, the upper class, the fashionable shoes with the pointed toes. I actually have a picture I'll try to put in the chat. Uh, that's absolutely true. And in fact, the toes were so long that when they were fighting in the Crusades, they often cut them off so they could run away from if they were losing. Question four, Magna Carta is recognized. Yes, and it was King John, John the first, because this is way back then. But John is sufficient. I was really impressed with how well you logiced out number five. This is which would not be a highly prized at a royal banquet. I think you all got the correct answer to <coughs> B, roast beef with Mornay sauce. And you got it for just Get the Karen. right reason. Mornay sauce is way, way later because it's much more sophisticated than they did. But mostly it's because, and I heard two teams say this, mostly it was because they didn't raise cattle for beef. They raised cattle for milk and cheese. So the only time anyone had beef was when the cattle, cow was too old and they killed it. So it was horrible beef and the rich people wouldn't have anything to do with it. They much preferred venison and, and swan and peacock. And yes, they did do the blackbird pie with living birds, but that doesn't mean they were cooked inside it. You know that story, the black yeah, blackbirds cooked in a pie? They weren't actually cooked in it. They made a shell, put the birds in and then covered it up. And as I think Richard said when I was in there, it was all for show, right? There was always food yeah. for show. They would cut the top crust and the birds would finally get out of this and they'd all fly up in the air. What if they pooped in it? I was gonna say, wouldn't they leave a lot of bird crap behind? Yes, yeah, probably. But exactly. They oh, but they didn't care. That's just extra protein. Oh, yeah. so those were not eaten foods. There were always foods like that that they, they presented, like the peacock feathers and all of that. They were just for show. Yeah, somebody probably ate it though. And six, servants. The the again, I, I happened to hear you, Adrian. I happened to be there when you were doing it, and you were absolutely right. Um, 
the the story, the reason I gave that introduction was that we know it was the Black Death, not just all of the diseases that were killing people, hey. because of Ring Around the Rosie. The thing that is typical of the Black Death was that there were ri rings around the, the bubble boobos that, they, that were created. So boobos, yeah. That they, the rings were around them. So that's why Ring Around the Rosie tells you that it was the plague they were talking about. Seven. Who was crowned Holy Holy Roman Empire uh, Emperor uh, Charlemagne? I think you all got that one. Eight Good was job, a more obscure one. This was the book, and it is famous if you do anything about history or medieval times, because it is one of the few records from the Dark Ages when there aren't many records. This was an extremely extensive record, and it's called the Doomsday Book. Nice, Richard. One team got them. Got it. Nice, Richard. Nine. Um, as a was the uh, White Tower still stand? Yes, it does, and that is true. He did it because he wanted to show how powerful he was, so he built that one of stone. The others were done quickly. Ten, and Karen, I heard you get this one. They're the Sanctuary Lord. <sighs> and finally, for the bonus. And it was very straightforward. And I know at least one team, my team, guessed it right. Henry the first died. Who took over? Matilda's son, Henry the second. Oh. Oh. Let me reason that out. Let me put post the solutions scale. I'm sorry. Can you post the solutions, please? I'm about to, yes. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, let's do our scores over here. Let me get to it. Good job. Definitely not time travel. Thank you very much. By the way, number eight, it's the Domesday book, D O M E, stay book. It, it, you it's see pronounced it all, all kinds of ways because it was not written in this English. So you'll see all different spellings of it. Okay. okay. So our scores. Let's go with the deep state got deep state got to Caspian's phone. We have eight. Ooh. We got right. nine. We got the bonus, but we oh. didn't get pocket full of posy. It's ring right. We didn't get it. two and six, so that made nine. With two, five, and six. We missed. No, we got five. So it's okay, nine. nine. We got B for five. The roast beef. Okay, so the Weisenberg roll. Uh, we had eight. And let's go to the FBI. Took Trump's retirement fund. And. and uh the fbi stole her high scores and planted low ones you got nine and last but not least gail's team covid free for now got seven my team always has a low score in my topics i don't know <laughs> <laughs> thanks gail <laughs> good job all right so we're off uh, the races and I'm trying to find him. Well done, Gail. Yeah, good job, Gail. I think the Steiners are retiring for the night. No, the, the, oh, team, the team's God. going. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's okay. I didn't contribute anything anyway. Okay. Bye, see bye, you guys. Oh, the next one's going to be good bass day. players. Hi, Ron. Hi, Steiners. Bye, guys. Famous Steiners. Hi. Uh, that's <laughs> the wrestling Steiners. That's right. Good night, all. You're leaving us too? The tag yeah. team wrestling night, Steiners. Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Good Wendy. Nice to see you. Okay. Caspian. Hey. Okay, this is going to be shorter and simpler. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's not really simpler, just shorter. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you three songs that were released as singles in the 1970s. You're going to tell me who released them. And I'm just going to dump the whole thing at once. So, number one, Black Dog, Trampled Underfoot, Fool in the Rain. Number two, Paranoid Wicked World, Tomorrow's Dream. Number three, In the Mood, Fly by Night, Closer to the Heart. Number four, heaven help us all, higher ground, send one your love. 
Number five, one of these days, free for us and them. Number six, take it easy, new kid in town, the long run. Number seven, seven seas of rye, it's late, don't stop me now. Number eight, overkill, no class, bomber. Number nine, John, I'm only dancing, rebel, rebel, heroes. Number 10, man on the silver mountain, starstruck since you've been gone. What are you calling this category, Caspian? It's just music trivia. Name the band, right? Name, yes, name the artist. Artist or band. These represent mm-hmm. albums or songs or both? These are songs. They were all released as singles. Ah, okay. Is um, there a time range? 70s. 1970s. Well, I saw James Murray. Furthermore, these this. are in <laughs> chronological order within each artist. So the first one came before the second, came before the third, at least when the single was released, not necessarily when the song was recorded or released on a different. Uh, so Susan, you could log this one as song titles of the 70s or something like that. Sounds good. Thank you, Caspi. And he did this at the very last minute too. Mm. Hmm. All right, Vincent. Yes. Would you like to send this to our room? Nice. Certainly can. Irene. Irene. Does the dog bite? Oh, Deborah's got to be put in her room. Ah, I never got here. She better get her because she's in room four. I got a no. I'll just take it easy. That's name two other songs that's also Eagles. So. All right. Why don't you lead, Faith? You have more than number I one is Led Zeppelin. Yep. Led Zeppelin. Mm-hmm. I have no idea who number two is. Oh, come on! That's Black Sabbath. Is it okay? <laughs> is it? Is it Black Sabbath? Paranoid for sure. This went okay. down in points in Wicked Kyle's World. Mind. Yeah. Okay. Number three is Rush. Good one. Um, I'm not sure who number four is. Stevie Wonder. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow, I'm glad here. we're on the same team. I knew okay. the ones you didn't know. Number five is Pink Floyd. I knew that oh, one. Yeah. Uh-huh. I didn't number know that six. was released as a single. Yeah. Uh huh. Number six is the Eagles. Yeah. I just heard one of those songs today, and I just went to the post office. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> number seven Queen. is Queen. Queen. Mm. Don't stop me. Now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Um, number eight, I have no idea. Uh, Kill, no class. Bomber. Mm. Number nine is David Bowie. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Heroes is one of my favorites, and I have no idea what number. Since you've been gone, isn't this Cars? Maybe cars. What's this car song? Since you've been, since you've I can sort of hear the song, but I don't know. I think Kelly Clarkson. Since you've been gone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I can't. It's amazing that stayed for thirty years before it got popular for her. Did that song come out? No, in- not name impossible. No. No, I'm talking about the cars, though. Oh. I heard of since you've been gone. The cars are like strike me as an eighties band, but obviously yeah. you know, over the the Silver Mountain sounds so familiar too. So, Not Jethro Troll, right? No. I wouldn't know. Overkill, no class, and bomber. Overkill sounds familiar too. Twisted mm-hmm. Sister? No, that's eighties. That's definitely eighties. Alice Tipper Gore. Tipper Alice Cooper's Cooper. interesting. <laughs> What about Kiss? Kiss? Yeah. yeah, could be. Sting or Sting? Aerosmith? Uh, no, I mean, I'm not thinking of any particular song. I'm thinking just who was recorded. Yeah, yeah. Um, You're talking about eight, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's eight. put let's put Aerosmith for now. Not the Stones, right? I don't see that. Okay. Aerosmith has bad song titling, which is why like it could be something innocuous like eight. I hate when they do titles that have they don't appear on the song and they have nothing right? to do with anything they say. Yeah. It's just part of their you and know. see, I only figured out number three because of the last song because I have it playing in my head. Closer to the heart. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the silver mountain good lord yeah these are mostly Can any of these be heart no mm, I, like, I like heart most oh. of these groups are groups that like except for the eagles zeppelin and maybe stevie wonder and queen or the ones that i didn't really get into that much you know they're out there okay. but well, take it easy. I actually visited the place they sing about in that song. Van Halen? Where is it? Winslow, Arizona. Oh, Winslow. It's oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Well, um, wait, I have the Eagles crazy. for six. I just heard yeah. a lot of Van Halen, though. It's never six. No, 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 no. That was, my son mentioned that as a possibility. Oh. One of them. I don't know. I don't know any of the, their work. So. <laughs> The I thought Van Halen was more popular in the 80s, though. I would think so, yeah. Okay. That could be very much so. Because that was the time of cocaine and hairspray and Aquanet. Was the cars in the 70s? Could be. Maybe. Or what about Genesis and like Paul, mm. or what's his face, the singer? Yes. Yeah. Paul. I don't care no more. I don't care. Get out of my way. So <laughs> I need to go have a dance party downstairs now. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. It <clears throat> um day six for me was just like I woke up and I was just like, oh, this is the feeling fatigued and tired goes away, but the congestion will still stay. So you've tested negative for how long? Um, probably since Monday. So you, so generally you're considered to be able to be around somebody after how much? I time? took it. Yeah. I took a test Sunday and it was like extremely, extremely faint. So I decided that Monday was my last day I needed to wear a mask. And so I haven't been wearing one around him. And so Monday you him. took a test and you're probably negative enough and then mm -hmm. you, you could go out with in the public starting when did you think i could i started going out in public on tuesday because you have a 10-day period like once you're infectious you can leave after you can go out to, um technically the cdc says five days after infection but you wear a mask i took a test on wednesday just to see and it will positive positive still so i was just like no i'm not even going to go to the grocery store with a mask on so you think it's 10 days from when 10 days from your so day zero was your first day of infection first and the day, next day of feeling day bad one. you mean first day of feeling bad the first day you're symptomatic symptomatic is day zero then the next day is day one then day two day three so my day zero was friday the fifth and that meant that I had to be quarantined with a mask until the 16th. Well, I didn't have to be quarantined, but I could be around other people with a mask and could leave my home after five days, which was last Thursday. So day five, you can leave with a mask. Day five. Mm -hmm. When did you start, start having symptoms, Susan? Yesterday. So today's day one for you. Right. So and Friday, already, Friday, I felt Sunday, crappy. Monday. So long Tuesday, time feeling way better. Tuesday, you can leave with a mask. You can leave your home with a mask on. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, set next Saturday, after that day's over, you can take your mask off. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. I had we had to cancel a bunch of stuff, but yeah, I got the <laughs> message from CFI. That's how I knew. Yeah, it's not. Um, but you know what? I want to go Does Mark home. have it too? Time. Does Mark have it too? Yeah, thankfully. And and I'm and I say that it's thankfully. thankfully. You, don't have to knock, 
Well, because you don't, the, the hardest part our house isn't big enough to, to isolate each other. Uh, then you have we, one on I, it, we had and the other Zoom catches it later, and then yeah. But we had Zoom dates, like because it got to the point where it's like I'm tired of being stuck in this fucking room. Well, that's cute, but you've got yeah. a bigger house, and uh, so Romero never got it, huh? No, nope. because he was like, "You better not give it to me." <laughs> I don't know how therapy would take it, so. We still have to figure out like number two. <laughs> Mark and I were we're too we're our house isn't big enough to. So where do you think you we, got it, Susan? I think I got it at the airport in in Eugene, and then flying to Seattle. That's where I think we got. Does, it. Did you get a Did you get a notice like on your phone that you'd been exposed? To anybody? Because I got one today, um, and it said for the twelfth and thirteenth. Like, do you have that app? There's an app oh. on your phone. Okay, well then. I don't have it. What is it? Um, I don't know if I can even find it. It it, it got this notification that is it, it under health. It, huh? Is it under health? I don't know where it is. See, nobody in Eugene got it. Got sick. So I think I got it after I left because I spent a bunch of time with Leonard on them. Um, I know. So this was so Friday Saturday was somebody was near me who had it. What's the app called? I don't know. I got it way back in two in 2020. Is that COVID Zoe thing? Yeah. I've never I haven't Let's see if I can I find it. And so I have it on my phone somewhere. <laughs> I don't That's know where probably make me more paranoid. I think it also depends like on the dose dose and infection. Oh yeah. Like my yeah. mom, I gave it to my mom. Oh but sweet. My, my dad doesn't have it. My nephew doesn't have it. And they've been laying in the same room with her. Yeah. And sometimes refuse to wear masks because that's just like she's like I told you I had it, but the other people in the house have gotten it. So, so what do you guys want to put for ten? The cars. We got the cars right now. I also want to revisit eight. We have okay. Aerosmith. Yeah. Do you have any other ideas on that? So those song titles they don't necessarily sound like uh, Aerosmith yeah. titles. I'm trying yeah. to think what could it be. Van what do you Halen? think about the Sex Pistols? Ooh. I don't know anything by the sex. I, I will go with that. Yeah, okay. that sounds good. That's I don't nice. know those songs, but they have a lot of material. I don't yeah. know. You don't think Van well, Halen? Aren't the sex pistols kind of punkish? Very punk. So this this to me sounds so. like it would be very, yeah, those sound is. like punk songs. Over yeah, field, that's where I'm coming from. Bar. It could equally yeah. well be the Ramones, though. Or, yeah, like. Ooh. Ramones, or even the guess. business. Or Joy Division. Joy Division, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah. Joy Division is more 80s. Yeah, good point. Yeah. The Cure? Yeah. I think they're mm -hmm. later. Cure's yeah, the 80s. Cure 80s yeah. for sure. Or Depeche Mode. Depeche, Depeche That's more Depeche the 80s. I never checked them out. I don't know anything about them. You don't know about Depeche Mode? No, it's not for they me. Were on I have one of my MTV. favorite songs. Really? Reach out and touch me. Yeah. Just don't touch me when you sing that song. You vote would be for the Ramones. All right, we'll switch it to that. Ramones, it is. Okay, okay. Ramones. <laughs> How are you all doing? We, we are good. Yeah, yeah, for every spot. yeah, and we just changed an answer, so we might have got one new one, or might have lost a point. Okay, <laughs> I'm closing them. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what. I, I want to go listen to Rush. Like, I just have that thing. I would not I'm thought never you were a big rush, rush fan. Person. Yeah. Oh, my mom. My mom was born in 1960. All this stuff I was forced to listen to. Well, that's where Caspian got it. That's too. where it comes from. But like, that's not a band. Like even the time period, they're like Canadian and think, they're nerdy. But see, What's I used to being think, Canadian and nerdy. But here's the thing: I used to think the lead singer of Rush was a woman until I saw them on like VH1. <laughs> sure, that, that, was, that checks out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Their long hair. Well, his, no, voice, his voice sounded like a female to me. What's interesting is he was when they released their first single. Um, they did it in Cleveland, and everybody started calling the radio station saying, "When's the new Led Zeppelin album coming out?" Uh oh. <laughs> hmm. Gosh, I'm really still stuck on 10. I, I guess that's the best, but... What was your guess for 10? The cars. I said the cars. Yeah, I don't think it's right. 
I, I'm still, I can't get over Kelly Clarkson since you've been gone. And I, right. Like, yeah. <laughs> she owns that phrase now. Well, and then hers. when you have Man on a Silver Mountain, I'm thinking Misty Mountain Hot by Liz. <laughs> and like, it's like, oh. And I educated you about how there's Tolkien references in the Zeppelin song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Star good job, team. Starstruck mm -hmm. is a famous. Kyle. Thought we uh, had a shot. Probably we, do. Lost, we lost two players. Oh. Uh, so uh, the next, the next what round. Did you score in your team so are you going to be on? Are you going to be on our team, Susan? Next round. So, so you mean the team that's got twenty six points tied for first place is complaining? We're going to lose right? because we lost two players. Are you going to be on our team next round, Susan? No. But, but no. you oh, I'm going to be on five. Round. I'm on five. That's right. So it's all up to you. It's all on you, Susan. Wait, I'm on five. That's As right. You, you me, and Vincent, we lost two. Are you on five? Oh, this you're round, on five. Right, Kevin? Oh, okay. All up to you, Susan. It's all on your shoulders. Well, give me a, something I can do. It's, it's, it's a category you will like. The hey, fact is it's words. a category the guy that left will like and it's Have just heard, it's like oh Susan, no has susan ever said i hate that category i, I can't recall her ever saying that. i think Jen? she'll like it but i think a lot of people always like has something nice to say about tens. this I, i'm Brad debating always, whether we should go with mono rules or mono rules times two or something you know the oh, crappiest no. category in the world and susan uh, will find something to says like that every time i go <laughs> i'm a pollyanna you get time travel yeah, it's not stupid time travel. Hey, All Susan. Right. Yeah, Susan. I just got out my old laptop. Look. Oh, oh. I was just telling somebody about that the other day. Somebody was saying, I think in Oregon, or was, oh, somebody in Seattle was saying that they had nice, nice had Richard. Some of fish. And I said, oh, I remember having the Randy fish with the magic wand. Yeah. Mine just got all old looking on the back of my car, so I just got rid of them. All right. Susie. Okay, Caspian. Okay. Number one is Led Zeppelin. Oh, oh come on. You didn't know that? That ain't right. Number two is Black Sabbath. Oh. oh. Good job, team. Good job, Bob. Number yeah. three is Rush. Oh. Okay. Uh, no, stop oh. The Canadians should have got that one. Stop the count. Number four <laughs> is Stevie Wonder. Uh, yeah, uh, Kevin. Kevin's killing it. <coughs> Number five is Pink Floyd. Oh, yeah. that one I knew. <clears throat> Number six is The Eagles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody should have got that. That was too everybody should have had that one. If I knew it, everybody should have known it. Uh, honestly, I just picked songs that I didn't recognize. They were all hits. I heard one of them today on the radio. I don't think I've ever heard these. Uh, number seven is yeah, Queen. Don't Bob, Bob got do. that one. It was one of my favorite songs. I, like once he said yeah, this song is a Queen song, I said, yeah, that is a Queen song. I didn't even click with me. Queen was hard to pick for because they were they didn't release very many singles and they were mostly all big hits. Yep. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Number eight is Motorhead. Oh. 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 Out of the, no way. Yeah. Did anybody know. get that one? No, I didn't. I didn't know that was tough. They had the Ace of Spades, all. but it was the first that time was I've ever heard that. was 1980, so it wouldn't have fit. See, by, by the late 70s, I was married with kids. I didn't have time for this. <laughs> Number nine is David Bowie. Yeah. Oh, I've got that one too. And number 10 is Rainbow. You know, oh, I, I, I know a guy who was in that band. Like I Randy still didn't Rainbow? know. Him. What? Rainbow. Reading never Rainbow? Heard of him. Never. Never. It was the band Richie Blackmore founded after he left Deep Purple. I've okay, um, never heard of I any of heard of any of those things. They've had a lot of different people in their band over the years. One of them is uh, Billy Joel's current band drummer is used to be. Of course, band. and it always come back to. Yeah, that's how I knew, but I didn't know the answer. Two degrees though. to Billy Joel. I didn't know the answer though. Yeah. Once you said Rainbow, Rainbow. it's like oh, Chuck Berge used to be. At in least Rainbow. you've heard of him. 
Mm. Yeah, I never heard of that. Well, because Kelly Clarkson, who is an artist you all know, has covered. Uh, oh, is that the same song? song? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't think it was the same. It's song. a cover. It's a cover. No shit. It's a rainbow cover. Oh, my money back. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow. Okay, we're almost done. Let's well, go to this chorus. Any... Oh, and uh, just FYI, we're out of people for next week. Okay. Huh? Out of people? Or we questions? Can just, just start? Robin, just I'll volunteer Robin Karen, Robin Karen is not a cover. Since you've been gone by Kelly Clarkson, it's not a cover. Dr. Luke wrote it. All right. The Weissen, Weisselberg role. I, I don't know what happened to Ben. I think we got. Sorry, have my mute was on. Uh, we got four. Mm, tied. Yeah, we didn't do so well. <laughs> All tied up. Uh, the deep state got to Caspian's phone. I got eight. Yeah, I think Ooh. we got eight. Nice. Think, yeah. We're in the lead. <laughs> COVID free for now. Nine. Oh. We nice. Got nine. Nine. Wow. I'm impressed. And yeah. and I knew one because I thought I heard Kelly Clarkson say or somebody say that it was a rainbow cover. Oh. Oh well, yeah. but but I'm wrong. Thank you, Faith. FBI stole right. our high scores <laughs> and planted some low ones. Maybe they we were making eight. fun of it. Okay. FBI took Trump's retirement fund. Eight. Of we are tied. Hey. All on you, Susan. Susan, Please what not. did you say there isn't for next week? Questions? Uh, yeah, let me see. Next week, I have no one. I have okay. um, I have a category. Cindy wants to do a category. Who's not going to do gonna... next week? Yay, Cindy. Yay, yeah. Cindy. Who's not going to be here next week? So that they can review Cindy's category. They're already not here. I probably won't. I probably won't be. Okay, Adrian, can you hook up with Cindy? You bet. And remember, Adrian, uh, if she screws up, it's your it's fault. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Rob's okay, unhappy, always it's make your when fault. somebody no says play and be a cat for the very answer first time per and make question, somebody review Adrian. it. If there's two you answers know, to one I know question, that, Rob. Well, but Ooh, when really? Vincent went, he didn't do that and he said you reviewed them. So I need really more categories. Oh yeah, that was the them. first time that I did. Hey, and keep the questions way, less than seventy-five words. <laughs> I need four more. Well, you know I'm always ready, Susan, and I and I've hey, already Gail. done one for, that I had two for today. So, Susan, oh, you can put me down. I have a couple in the bank. Okay, Peggy. I can make them up, but I can. Do I, it. I have a few. I have a few ready to go. So no one. Rob, else wants. who wants Rob a bonus? And I always have plenty ready to go. <sighs> Mine could be a bonus if you would like. It's a little okay, different. Gail's going to do a bonus. So who am I putting in in her place? We did I Rob mean, if, today. If you've How, got no one Vincent, else, did you say it, you I had one? Yeah, I can do. I can do a category. Okay, you didn't go this week. Okay, I used put, to put him in an early home. round so so he can leave in case he gets Who? tired. Put Vincent in an early round when he does okay, a category. Vincent, you're going in first. Yeah, there you go. Sure. That way, okay. in case he wants to leave, he can leave without. All right, people. thank you guys. Let's go finish off. All right. All right. If he's afraid round. of being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> that is always true. All right, this is the bonus round. I think we should do mono rules with it. Um, oh, no, no, no. okay, no mono rules. What's the category? It takes too long. It just. Right. Long. What is the category? All right, the category is name that cat. Oh, oh man, it's going to be too cat. easy. That's what I mean. Both, that's why we should do mono rules. I think we should do mono rules. Oh, mono can't mono change rules. it now. Can't change it now. Hold on a second. So but it's just going to be Name 10. Cat. Cat. Everybody's, uh, everybody's going to get 10. Yeah, everybody's going to get 10. Name that uh, cat mono rules. That. Oh. What are I mean, mono there's rules? not enough cats for mono rules. Is there? How many cats are there? Oh, there's more than 40. 
Okay, there. one, two, Lots. three, four, five, um, five, ten. Four, five. There's like thirty. Do we have five, numbers seven, on them? Eight. No. No, but I have the answers tagged on them on another post. Okay. Another picture. I think we should do mono rules, otherwise, because you know what? We got two ties. We got. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're getting like, ten for sure. <laughs> so yeah, because otherwise, everybody would get ten. So I wasn't looking but, at the But the screen. only thing is. Okay, I so just, the only problem with that is, is this they're not numbered or lettered or anything. So I'm going to reveal the answers that it looks exactly the same with the names on top. You can check. I understand that, but while we're actually <laughs> discussing them, we're like, okay, the one that's three from the right. That's somebody will have, have to. to somebody will have to do this kind of a thing. This guy, this guy, this guy with their mouse. Yeah, we'll be all right. All right, yeah, we'll take a snapshot. But then if we're all taking notes, so we all have the results on our piece of paper, how do we identify them for ourselves while we're doing that? Uh, we'll figure it out. Take a picture to... of the screen, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, take a screenshot. <sighs> I'm sorry, screenshot I should have numbered your them. Phone. You're right, Deborah. I should have numbered them. It's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we can do it. I should have numbered them. It would have been easy. Aaron says it's perfect. So Karen says it's perfect, so it's perfect. All right. Because it is. So let's go to our rooms. And somebody explain yeah. to Jane and Susie and uh, um, Cindy what that means by mono rules. I don't think they've ever used them. God. So when you get over there. We are doing mono rules. Huh? Yes. We're doing mono rules. Otherwise, it's just going to be 10, 10, 10. No, I don't mm. think so. That, yeah, I will. Like I, you said, I would like this one. Cats. Yeah. Cats. And the and the last guy who was on our team, Ron, had a shirt that said "Greatest Cat Dad" or something on oh, it. Oh, no wonder you were saying he would. He do like, I think we'll do well because I know most of these. So. Okay, wait. So who's is it? So Wendy's gone. Ron's gone. Oh, here's Bob. Okay, good, Bob. Vince. Okay, here we go. Um, how do I go from my phone to the computer to put it on the, you don't. the screenshot? Just go ahead oh. and. Um, yeah. I, I guess if we'd screenshot it. Well, I took like I took a picture of it. Email it to yourself. Uh, yeah. Do I, do I email it to myself and then? Yeah, you could do that. And then share it. Okay. Just try that. Yeah. yeah. I, why didn't you just leave it up? No, because he's got to go from room to room. Kevin's oh, because it was on the room. iPad, nice and big, but I didn't know it was going to disappear. I should have taken a screenshot. Well, and he still have it. No, because my phone. Is, she has. You know what, right. Vince? I've got it. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. I got it. If you don't. I just emailed it to myself. Okay. Um, I'm just waiting for it to come through. Yeah, I got, I got three. Kevin, you can go to your other rooms. Yep, I'm gonna work on uh, numbering the thing. Can you put it back up in the main room again, Bob? I'm on screen it. share right now. Yeah, but it's on my phone, which is tiny. The no, iPad. I'm saying I will screen share. <laughs> But it'll be on my phone. I can bring the iPad into the breakout room, I guess. That would work. Oh, this looks That's awful. Did you want me to try okay. it? No, okay. I'll bring the okay. Um wait, I'm I'm still awful. in the main room. I'm still in the wait a minute. I'm still in the main room. No, you're not. I'm in the wrong breakout room. God damn it. No, you're in the right breakout room. It's got Adrian and Carl. My The iPad. I'm trying to get oh. the iPad. So when you show up, I can see it on the iPad because it's very much bigger than my phone. I don't know how else to explain this to you. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> no, it went to the wrong breakout room. So where do you want it to be? I want to bring it in here with us. In okay, room five. so room five. I'm in room two. Is that it now? Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay, share it and then it'll be, oh, this will be cool. Okay, let me get over to my. Yeah. 
There's a big Vincent. Do you want me to share it? I, I got it. Bob Extra was going to share it, I think, right, Bob? Huh? No. No, I just want, if okay, you share ahead, it, Vince. it'll show up. I'll, on... I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Don't worry. I got it. It'll show up on my iPad and I can see it. That's why I use it. So I can see it. There's me. I'm enormous. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll share it. It's fine. I Dude. got it. Cool. I got it. I got it. <coughs> Mine turned out really awful. That, out. We got it. And then if we're going to do mono rules, we got to figure there. out which. Okay. What How's are you that? Well, that yeah, okay. okay. Who do we know okay. there for sure? We all we got Top row. We have Scar. Is that Scar? Scar. Scar. I no, I don't know. Um, Snowball is the Simpsons cat. Snowball. Snowball. That's Hobbs the tiger. Hobbs. Oh yeah, Hobbs. Hobbs. So should be writing these down. The Cheshire cat. Uh, Snagglepuss. That's Figaro from uh, um, Pinocchio. Yeah. That's uh, Tom. Tom and Jerry. Sylvester. Uh, Pepe Le Pew. That's or is that Tom. wait, no, that that's Pepe Le Pew. That's Sylvester the cat. Tom. Yeah. Well that's he's a... Cliff Clifford or Cliff? Clifford? What? Clifford, yeah. Clifford. That's yeah, that's, Clifford. Tiger. that's uh Tiger, the that's uh wait, 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 wait. I don't, I don't see your cursor. That's Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger. Yes. Uh, Starfield. Yeah. That's uh, Simba. I yeah, that's Simba, yeah, from Lion King. Uh, the Pink Panther. The Pink Panther, yeah. Uh, that one I can't Fever. remember. That's either Itchy or Scratchy, and I don't remember which is which. Oh, okay. I think uh, yeah, I, it's Scratchy. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to go for it, but we we got to narrow it down. But to what's 10. the what's the Jungle Book cat? Was um, Magira is the panther. Magira, that's right. Magira. This we might want to do that one. That's more unusual. Yeah, Puss Magira. Puss in boots. Puss in boots. Uh, Puss in boots. That's, that's top cat. Top, top cat. cat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was he was uh, a teacher, the character. I don't know. Cat in the that hat. Is. That's Bill. That's Bill the cat. Oh yeah. Bill the cat. Uh, okay. From uh, I don't remember the name of the script. Rin Stippy. Yeah. yeah, and this is uh, Shere Khan. That's Jungle Book also. Mm -hmm. Shere Khan the tiger from Jungle Book. Where? And, uh, the big tiger down in the bottom row. That's Bagheera. Oh okay. Yeah. He's from Jungle Shere Khan. Book. Shere Khan, yeah, Shere Khan, you're right, right. That one I cannot remember. I don't know what the hell's going on there. This uh, one is a dog. That's a Disney uh, thing, but I Disney, don't recognize. Yeah, yeah. That's a Disney something. This so one didn't we have the the um, a hundred and one dom or the 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 white cat? What was? So there's one between the that one. That Wasn't one? she in um? Yeah, I don't know the name though. What's her name? Is that in the top row? Is that Cake from uh, Adventure Time when they did the reversal, the gender switch thing where they had Fiona and Cake instead of no, um, no idea. Um, um, Finn and Jake. So the they little made black Finn kitty at the second row. That's that's Figaro from Figaro. From that's right. Yeah, you just you just use that in that that uh, song about the Bohemian Galileo, Galileo Figaro. What yeah, about that, that gray, gray cat next to Figaro with the big eyes? That's from South Park. I think that's uh, Cartman's cat. I I think he just calls it Kitty. And then that's Tom next to it on the right, correct? Yes, yeah. yeah. and then that's Tom of Tom and Jerry. Yeah. And this is Garfield's girlfriend, but I don't remember her name. Where? Uh, she's between the Pink Panther and the uh, Tigger. 
Oh yeah, her name is Eileen, Eileen, Adele. Isn't it an A name? I don't know. Because that'd be a good one to come up with. And is the pink cat next to Bagheera, between Bill and Bagheera, that looks like a, a Scott Adams uh, uh, Dilbert. Which one? Is that a Dilbert? The pink cat between Bill oh, and Bagheera. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is yeah, the Scott cat. Adams. Isn't he the HR director or something? Is that, I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I guess that I've only seen it in black and white. I didn't know it was pink, but I think that's the Dilbert, the cat. I don't from know Dilbert. what his name would be. I don't know the name. I don't know the it, white this one? name. Yeah, yeah that's Dilbert. Dilbert. Dilbert and, yeah. Well, what's Yeah, the, that's right, cartoon, but what's the cat's name? Yeah, what's the cat's name? I the cat cannot name. remember. This, yeah. Um, geez, who's that? Who's that? If I knew the big, that's from, a, that's a Disney cat movie. I'm trying to think. How about the yellow kitty on the far left, on the bottom? That's Top Cat. That's Top Cat? It was a, yeah, it was, um, it was a half hour. It was a Hanna-Barbera. It was before Oh, Flintstone. that does sound familiar. Yeah, before the Flintstones. And then, oh, wait, Benny. Uh, I think Benny's in there too. Yeah, the blue cat with the little white jacket, that's Benny. That's his his little toady. B-E-N-N-Y? Yeah. That might that be a might good be, one too. Yeah, that might be a good one to keep. Okay, how about um, in the very middle, uh, the black mm -hmm. cat that's running next to it, that's that one? Ah. Uh, Boy, I don't know. I'm and the one below it, with it looks like he's got some kind of crabby look. He's got, he's got a. Looks like he's gonna crab, take a, a nutcracker or something. I can't tell what that is. Okay, he so we don't know who he is. And the black he, kitty in the middle with the big eyes is. Um, that's Felix the cat. Felix. From the old Felix cartoons. Okay, so we've got plenty. Okay, so we have to. Let's come up with the most obscure ones. Yeah. So I do Benny. Do Benny because okay, Benny. Yeah. This one and this one. I don't know. We don't know who they are. Yeah, I don't know. That's a Disney. The okay. The so how about like Magira? Magira is the is the panther from Jungle Book. N i g e r a. No, but b a g but b a g h e e r why r a susan can you fling me to a room what you're not on a i can't have i don't think i can oh maybe i can't because you're on share screen yeah why can't you go because i'm in share screen i think no you maybe i can leave the room you you want to stop sharing? i can stop sharing there you go oh okay I thought he had powers. Remind me and I'll fling him every he's, couple minutes. He's on a cell phone or a tablet or something. So. Okay, so let's see. Who else can we say that would be I think I think that's cake. Up in the top corner, the big kind of a egg-shaped cat with the white with the all the way to the the right. Next, next to Hobbs. To, next, next to Hobbs. I think that's cake. It's I've from never Adventure heard of it. Comic. It, yeah, it's from Adventure Time. The main characters are Finn and Jake. Finn was a boy and Jake is a magic dog. And so there was this one character wrote this fan fiction where they gender switched. So it's Fiona and Cake instead of Finn and Jake. And so oh. that's the cat version, the female cat are version. Are you calling it cake? Like the Yeah, cake like the cake. Yeah, like you. Okay, eat. let's yeah. let's do that one. So cake. And can you spell Bagheera again? Bagheera? Bagheera. B-A-G-H-E-E-R-A. -E -E okay. But um, or, or something something like that. Close enough. Uh that orange, who is that? Orange. That's a Hanna Barbera next to the cat in the hat. Oh, that's gonna drive me crazy. Oh, oh. wait, where's is well, it we're is trying G to get you know what? Garfield's girlfriend, 
I'm almost positive it's Elaine or Aline. Not, Aline. Do you guys don't know? Because that would be a hard one. No, I don't know. I don't remember. Vince? Yeah, you, know? you have to, but you got to get it right. Irene. Okay, we don't know for sure, so forget it. Yeah, we don't know for sure. Yeah. Okay, so um, we've got Bagheera, Cake, Benny. How about Top Cat? That would be a hard one. Yeah, if they if they don't know the show, they would. Yeah, I think it's Phil Silver. What else do you think? Yeah, Khan? yeah the tiger. Yeah, they might it's not Shere remember Khan? that. Okay, yeah. we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five. What else do you guys want? Uh, about this one that's obscure. It's oh, South no. Park. All I ever heard him called was Kitty. No, Kitty, Kitty it's a bad Kitty. Yeah, it's Carmen. No, Kitty. My Kitty Poo. Like <laughs> How about this one? That's, That's uh, Figaro, but he just used it. Everybody will know, know it. Yeah, we should know that one. Uh, yeah. He just used it a couple weeks ago in his category. Uh, How about this one? No idea. That's Stimpy. That's, yeah, Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. John Crick for Lucy. Why, why do I know this crap? Okay, how about... <laughs> um, me something how, about this, <laughs> how about this one? Uh, where you at? Where you at? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, is that like... Uh, was a Disney movie about a cat and a dog that were friends, Milo and Otis, or something like that? No idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know which one that is. Is that my little? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm, see, I'm only tangentially aware of it. You know, it was kids. I was too old. I didn't care when. By the time the movie came out. Okay, so we need to narrow it down to which ones we want to use. We've got Benny, Cake, Bagheera, Top Cat, and Shere Khan. Shere Khan. How many more do we need? Five. Uh, How about Scar? Is is that Pepe Le Pew or is that one of his girlfriends? Because that looks kind of feminine. I think it's Pepe. Mm. This? No, yeah. that no, Pepe's that's... a skunk, so it can't be him. That must be his girlfriend. What's her name? Well, one of the I don't know. He just had he would just call him Mashari and Mon Amour and stuff like that. So I don't, so know, don't know her name. Was. Yeah. Yeah, I don't okay. know why I my answers for that. that. How about Hobbs? Do you think the people would remember his name is Hobbs? Um, I don't know. Probably. It's going to be... Well, you know, it's getting down to the point that they're going to know these. We just have to pick five. That... Yeah, I mean, if they know some of the, like that big purple one, that's, is that from the Aristocats? Or something like it's Disney. I can tell we picked the five that we think would be the most difficult to come up with. And that's not even much. Bill, will people know Bill the cat? Um let's try Bill the cat. Yeah, let's try Bill the cat. And then how about also how about uh, uh Skimpy? The, no Stimpy. Stimpy. That's Stimpy. This is um oh now I'm what's his name? He's like the knockoff. Garfield. Uh, what's his name? Rim? No, no. The Orange Cat by Sylvester. See, Garfield's down here. Um, I can't think, I can't, I'm drawing a blank. That's Garfield. This guy, it's kind of, it's the same. He's a comic strip. He's an orange cat. That guy? The main no yeah. idea. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, I don't remember the name now. It was less. Hanna Barbera. What's that? That this cat here, Hanna Barbera. Is that Jinx? It might be Jinx. Jinx. Yeah, Pixie and Dixie and Jinx the cat. Okay. I hate Mises to pieces. Did you want to pick Jinx? It yeah. might be because it's Hanna Barbera. Hanna Barbera. I know that for a. Uh, Fact that that's okay, but do you want is a cat's yeah. name Jinx? 
Is that Jinx from Pixie and Dixie? Because we see we would have watched it in black and white, so I don't not sure what color he was. Oh no, no, I I would have watched it in color, and I know that that's Hanna Barbera, but Hanna Barbera is the name of a. I know is the I, character named Jinx. Jinx okay, the so we're gonna go with Jinx. That would be really go with Jinx. Just okay, because yeah. that's hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If that's yeah, but I don't see anybody else that matches. Okay, we need three more. And Kevin would know. Kevin would know. Would would do Jinx from. Okay, do you think that people will? How about Hobbs? Yeah, I don't know. Or they you probably. know, we could pick Garfield. Maybe nobody else will pick Garfield. I don't think yeah, anybody do. would pick Santa's little helper. No, that's Which the one's dog. Santa's this... little helper. No, that... that's their dog. The cat is, I think, is Snowball. Oh, yeah, the, right. cat, the cat. The cat is were all, and there was a series of them. There was a yeah. series that was like a Halloween there with all these graves. Okay, is that Snowball up there at the top? Yeah. This is, that's okay, we're going to pick Snowball. Yeah. We need two more. Uh, Who's this one down here? Do you know? That's from Dilbert. The, I don't know his name. Dilbert. I think it's just yeah. the yeah. HR director. Catbert. Yeah, it oh, the, it's Catbert. Cat, cat, that's it, Catbert. Yeah. Okay, we'll do right. that one. Cat bar, cat bar. Okay, we need okay. one more. I can't believe I did it. Came up with that. See, some of those, they're really more of that one. I don't know. Should we do like Pink Panther or Puss some Boots? Something that we don't think, you know, it's just. A, yeah, that's super obvious that they might not grab. I think we'll do. So what we do you guys do. want? Puss some yeah, Boots sounds know. good. Puss some Boots. Okay, yeah, that's who it is. That's real obvious. Somebody might say, oh, no, somebody will get that. So okay, so here's the you. here's the 10. You guys ready? Sure. Yeah. Okay, Benny. Okay, over here, blue blue with the white jacket on the left. Okay, okay. yeah. Cake. Yeah, that's okay, up there. Jinx. That's the, I think, is this orange cat down here. Snowball. Yeah. Oh, the Simpsons, yeah. Catbert. Down there, yeah. Bagheera. Uh, the panther, yeah. No, that's not the panther, is it? Yeah, Bagheera is the panther. Shere Khan is the tiger. Okay, Puss in Boots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Puss in Boots, yeah. Uh, top Cat. Down in the corner, yeah. Bill the Cat. Yeah, next to Puss in Boots. And Shere Khan. The tiger, okay. Okay, yeah. that's our 10. I've got them written down. Yeah, okay. That's All right. Yeah. Did you Some want of these. Stop? Did you want me to stop sharing or? Yeah, okay. So we can go back yeah. to the main room. Yeah, no, I'm going to close all rooms. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Um, Good job, um, team. Yeah. I'm going to end it early because they're going to, we got it. Uh, I was going to tell Susan something. Did you end up getting that sticker? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. And I meant the next, I meant to thank you on the next game, which was like two weeks ago. And I, and I, I pulled them out and showed them. I was showing my wife and I was explaining who you were and what you did. And I showed you the sticker in your business card. And I said, I have to thank her tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for reminding me. Well, no problem. I just hadn't sure if you had it. Okay, let's go back. Oh, yeah. Apparently, recording is in progress. Fascinating. I am so sorry to see you like this, Susan. Yeah. I'll be right. Breaks my heart. Oh, yeah? I'll be fine. Uh, we forgot to do happy birthday for Bob. And Ben's gone. Yeah. We got a little confused. Well, I stayed up. That's right here. Ben didn't leave. Ben, ben didn't leave. He's right there. So do it. You can Are double you up. It's... He's well, now it is. In. Why is did it... I leave? No, no, don't yet. leave. Is it midnight yet? What time is it? Oh yeah, it's it's after midnight for oh, it's me. It's your birthday. So it's officially my birthday. And, and do one. 
do one song for both of us. I gotta go by. <laughs> oh, <you're enjoying> <laughs> <laughs> We're that bad. You have to endure it. Endure it. Where's everybody? Well, at? since it's for me, then I don't have to <laughs> sing, right? No. Except to Bob. I don't need it. Oh yeah. You can sing to me. And Bob and says to Ben. To and I'll sing to you. We're gonna do that first thing because I don't want to forget it. It's, it's so we awful. we have the exact same day birthday, no. Bob. No, you're. I was yesterday. You're. Now. Okay. You're I'm now. So I'm in the. I'm in the future. So okay. We're two days apart. Is everybody back? We're two days apart. No, I'm in Every, the future because I'm in my back. Okay. So I'm no more time travel. Me. Okay, before we go any farther, you guys, we're gonna do happy birthday to Ben <laughs> and Bob. All right. Any key you want. <laughs> Fine. Ready? Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Yeah, we have to yeah. Do all yeah, good luck with that. Beautiful. Good job. Thank That's you. That's the way you do it. The worst Jamie's, Jamie's birthday is in two days, and he isn't here today. And I think he'd be happy to hear this one. Oh, <laughs> if you watch the video, we'll get him next happy week. Happy birthday, video. Jamie. Remind me next week. Yeah, oh, that's from video. Oh, I we got to do it worse. Okay, so. Worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. So here's how it's going to work. That's the challenge. I'm going to take one team. I'm going to call your name out and one person for that team is going to name yeah. their that and then cats. cats. Name and that Kevin's cat. going to tell you first if they're on the list or not. Right. So I will say, so we're going to go with a Weissenberg role. Who's going to be your representative? But, but, wait, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Then you're not only going to name a name. You got to make sure you're naming the right animal if you name it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, how about I How about I show you the numbers and tell you what they are and you tell me if you got them or whatever. I think we know, don't we? And if two people got them, then you don't get a point. Yeah. Uh, or we just well, have we to do the honor Lord. system where we know we got yeah. it right. I don't know. Yeah. What do you want to do? I, don't care. I think Susan did a good job. I think explain. if you came up with the right name, I think that's I, pretty I don't good care too. if somebody thought Tigger was the Pink Panther and Pink Panther was Tigger. <laughs> yeah, so, I think so. So, 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 so here's ours. We, I put there a you go. yellow triangle on everyone that we think. All right. Anyone do those? Um, no. Uh, yeah, we, no. we did. Yeah, we got a bunch You're of You're fancy. Them. We had all those. <laughs> You all of them? Answer. You picked well, the all the ones same that one? have the red triangles. No, we didn't pick all the okay. same ones. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to make an executive decision and Rob has got his up there. So, we're going to go through those one at a time. Rob, you'll read them off. If okay. if so, somebody else has them, then yeah. one representative from each team, you guys hurry up quick and decide who's going to be the representative. Right. Rob has them where? I can't find it. I'll do it for our team. Okay. So, Stimpy. So, Right. So the second, as you can oh, see, I'm... the first is, is Stimpy. Is that correct? Got it. Yep. Got uh, it. Someone else took it. Okay. The next one we picked was Snowball. We got so, it. Point yeah, of order. Got it. There were multiple Snowballs that each had, a, like Snowball, Snowball 2, Snowball 3, Snowball 4, Snowball 5. Are we just counting all <laughs> the <laughs> Snowballs? I think they, they all look all the same. Look the same. Okay, yeah. We have Snowball. Uh, Angle Puss. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the name of that one. Yeah, East, okay. East Cliff. Yes. Uh, uh going down. Benny the ball. We have Benny. Oh come oh, on! No way. Did How you dare put you? Benny the ball. We have Benny. Uh, you Benny the ball. Uh, oh. called Benny. What do you have, Kevin? What's the, 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 the answer? Says, Benny the ball. The answer just says Benny. Oh, the God. full name. Yeah. Richard, get on your soapbox. We, we need this point. It says Benny. Yeah. Like I Felix, the yeah, answer Felix I... the cat. Did anyone put Felix? Yeah, we had Felix. Ugh. Pretty sure. Love Manor we're not, Rules. We're not getting uh, Benny next the one ball. we got is uh, Garfield. Oh, yeah, of course. Did you put Garfield? I don't I, I don't have the list. Who, who no, our, not on our team. Yeah. Then no, you shouldn't be talking. And don't say so, please. So well, did I didn't hear our from? people. I didn't hear our people. According, <laughs> according to Wikipedia, the names of the characters are Top Cat, Benny, the Ball, Choo Choo, Fancy Fancy, Spook, and Brain. 
So, yeah. so Benny, Benny or Benny, Benny the ball, ball is the same answer though. Rob, yeah. continue. Uh, so Maybe. I'm not. I'm still not clear. I heard. I heard uh, um, somebody say we had Garfield, but then not. So, so did far anyone else put Garfield? I'm hearing no. So I think we got a point. Yay! Yay. Uh, top okay. Cat, lower left. We did. We got Top Cat. Yeah. And Cat in the Hat. Nobody. Yes. Yeah. That was too obvious. No one would pick that one. Picking. And one lastly, no one cat bird. We got it. Oh. Yeah. So we got a whopping two, I think. We got there, a whopping uh, two. Team. Two. We got two. Okay, so that's uh, team one has got two. That. Okay. Have we so, seen him lately? I think it's we're gonna go with the deep state. Got to Caspian's phone. Who's gonna All be the right. representative? I can do it. I got a good list going. Okay. We have bonkers. Who's who's bonkers? Well, Kevin? Just, is there a bonkers um, on there, Kevin? Can share, can share, 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 share my screen? Bonkers. Which one's bonkers? Yeah, Kevin wants to share share his screen. Let me screen, share my screen. Bob. Go ahead. Bonkers is right here. Yep. That's bonkers. Oh, does anybody, anybody else have bonkers? All oh, right. Bill the cat. That's who that was. Then we have ah. Oliver. Mm. Where is Oliver? Oh, oh that, that was a Tony little. The Tiger yeah. and Benny, baby. Oliver Killing from it. Dodger. Next, we've got Duchess. Oh, damn it. Oh, <laughs> we had Duchess. Yet. Are you we had Duchess? Duchess. All oh, right. Good. Then Lucifer. Ooh. Ooh. Killing oh, it. Cool. Then we had Cat Bus. Oh, man. Oh, that should have been <laughs> an easy name for us to figure oh, out. Cat uh, Bus down here. Lastly, we had Bag Hera. Yep, we and had Bag Hera. Bag Bagheera. Bagheera. Okay. Bag, I like Bag Hera better than Bagheera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, Kyle, how many points is Not that? Magora. Four points Bagheera. for us. <laughs> Wow. Nice. You guys, I'm very cat. sorry. I thought that was Toulouse and it's um, Oliver. I'm so sorry. Okay. Toulouse and Berlio were ties. Thank you. All right, you guys. COVID free for now. Who's your representative? Uh, we have Snacklefuss. That's, that's already been knocked off. Has it been knocked off? I missed that. Sorry. And Marie? We got that. Knocked Toulouse? Off. It's not Toulouse, it's Oliver. I was wrong, I'm sorry. Okay. And Simba? Oh, no man. No okay. more with Simba. Oh, Shere Khan? Man. We got yeah. Shere Khan. Oh, Shere Khan, that's what it was, yes. And Penelope Pussycat. Ooh, what's that one? Oh, that's the skunky one. Oh, that's that her name. So oh, we got yeah, two. Okay, two points. Nice. I don't know why you guys think this takes so long. It really doesn't. I should have gotten mad. Because we'd be done in the other way. No, yeah. no, no. no. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go with FBI took Trump's retirement fund. Okay. Tigger? No. Yeah. Yeah, we got Tigger? Nice. Yeah, we had Tigger a long time ago. That was gone. Okay, so Tigger is scratched off. Hobbs? Okay. We didn't pick Hobbs. Oh, we should have picked Hobbs. Nobody on Hobbs? Okay. Well, no, you shouldn't have because they did. Too <laughs> obvious. What? Scratchy? We almost picked Scratchy. Yeah, we were there. All right. People were sure if it was Itchy or Scratchy. That's the problem. Um, yeah, that's the thing. It was, it was I figured Arlene? it was Scratchy. Nobody Anybody on Arlene? Arlene. Arlene, that that's her name. name. That's Damn her name. It. Yeah. Where's Arlene? Uh, pick one next to Tigger. Oh, that's what Garfield's girlfriend's name was. Yeah. Can you guys see my cursor? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. And we're at three there. So you got three okay. points. That's it. Nice. nice. Okay, I've got the paperwork for our team. So I'm not sure if these have been picked out or not, but we've got Vinny. Yeah, that's yes. that's gone. That's okay. gone. How about cake? Point. Yes. How about, how about oh, Jinx? 
Which one? Jinx, yeah. Oops. Mr. Jinx. Oh, Mr. Jinx. Jinx the cat. Where can find it? There. Hold on. Do you have Jinx or Mr. Jinx? Right here. Jinx. Jinx the cat. Don't. Mr. Jinx. Don't Jinx the cat. It. Same thing. Not okay, the other one we have is Puss in Boots. Did anybody else get that? We took oh, it off. It's too it off. obvious. <laughs> and we have Bill the Cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, nobody else picked that? it? What is that we one have Bill. That's that guy's name. Oh, that that's his damn name. It's, it's yeah, like I know. Blue I can't remember right? either. Isn't it from I just Blue remembered County? him as a cat that always goes, Ack. What did you say? Yeah. yeah. From what? I think it's been from Bloom County. Yeah, yeah I, I think you're right. That makes sense. That sounds right to me. And okay. Outland also. So what we get? And, and the Outland. We have right. we have four. So wow. here we go. Here's the score. I think that puts you in first. Wow. 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 Come from behind. I guess I won because I was on the <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Susan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my uh, God! Thank you! Wow! That's crazy. Thanks for hanging around, Vincent. Thank By you, Vincent. one point. <laughs> did, did any? Did anybody I else know? Cake? It out. Did anybody oh. else know cake? No. Anybody know no. cake? Yeah. I'm still not I convinced know, Kevin made it up. <laughs> Adventure I, time. Adventure that was great. Time, baby. That's that what we figured Jake was from, but we didn't know his name. All right, right, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day a night because <sighs> I have COVID. Kyle, if only I could have come up with the name for that cat bus. And just to be clear, I'm doing next week, right? Vincent, you're first. Yeah. Okay. And who else do you have? Cindy. Okay. Uh, Peggy, Rob, and Gail. And Cindy's gonna uh, match up with Adrian. Yeah. So okay. can, oh, so and I'll match up with Adrian too. No, I. So won't. we don't attack her too much. <laughs> I have right, one, well, one, quick, one quick announcement before we go. This Thursday night here in Sydney, Australia, for Skeptics in the Pub, we have our special guest Adrian, Adrian talking yes. about ghosts. Now, that means Adrian. Adrian will have to be live at three a.m. her time. Ooh, that's dedication. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Richard, oh, we've yeah. all done this. <laughs> I've done I'm, it. I'm Kenny Biddle I'll done be it. Long ben since Radford. We will do anything for the Sydney skeptics. Break exactly. out the espresso machine. Yeah, exactly. Got one. That'll be fine. Uh, You'll nice. be all right. Happy birthday, I'll Bob. Watch the video. Happy birthday, oh, thank guys. You. Thank you. All right, you guys. Thank hey, you guys. Thank you for now. joining us, Jane. Bye. I hope you had a good time. Yeah. And come back and play again. Your name good is to see you again, Jane. Up in a few hours or tomorrow, probably. Yeah. Good to see you, Jane, again. Nice to see you guys. See you later. Yeah. Oh, you can't Thank people. you for coming. <laughs>